Yo, 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 man, what it is and what it ain't, man. It's your boy B.L. Ratchet from the We Are Florida podcast, presented by Mix One Essentials, man. We got a special edition, you know what I'm saying? We are Florida Sports today with, you know what I'm saying, special guest, former NFL wide receiver, you know what I'm saying, former UF Gator, and yes, so sir. much more. Yes, sir, man. Lewis Murphy Jr., man. Glad to be here with you, Ratchet. You know what I'm saying? How you how your day going today, my boy? Man, another day above ground, man. No complaints, man. No no complaints at all. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. We out here in, you know what I'm saying, Florida. The sunny weather. Yes, sir. For yes, sure, sir. Man. The sunshine state. So we what, like a, a week and a half away from like I mean, like push back away from Super Bowl? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About a Who week. Who you was yeah. going for? I was riding with them Chiefs, man. Okay. I was riding with them Chiefs, man. I've been riding with the Chiefs all year. You know, got the podcast, one-on-ones podcast, the number one sports debate podcast in the country, you know, uh, where you get the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Well, at least in my mind, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, I was riding with the Chiefs, man. I love what Patrick Mahomes bring to the game. I love his cerebral cerebral approach, you know, um, and he athletic, man, and he made some crazy throws, man. So, you know, yeah, I, I, it was rough going against him against Lamar. You know, I bet I bet with the Chiefs, and I had to take them all away. So you think he ready to be in that goat debate with with Tom Brady? Oh man, we just Is had it one goat. Uh, hey man, it's one goat, man. I know the new generation; they like to say everybody a goat, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, in my era, I grew up in the Jordan era, and then it translated over into Kobe. But uh, and from from my perspective, man, is always is one goat. Great goat means greatest of all time. So I will have to go with Tom Brady's the goat, and Mahomes is chasing that. He's okay. on his way. I ain't gonna say he can't beat him, but you heard it here first, though, man. I feel he gonna win eight rings. Eight rings. I think he gonna do eight. You heard it here first, not eight rings. Eight nah. rings, not nah. okay. eight rings. <laughs> so like you know, what I'm saying, let's get a little bit into your backstory, man. Where you from? Man, I'm from the south side of St. Petersburg, man. Home of Rod Wave, home of all, you know, most football players in the NFL uh, at one time. Uh, Mar- Marquez Valdez, Scanlon, Super Bowl champion, Dante Fowler Jr., uh, Isaiah Wynn, the Griffin Twins, Rayshon Jenkins. Uh, the list goes on and on, man. It's actually two. If I miss your name, man, I don't mean no disrespect, but – you know, uh, yeah, from South Side St. Petersburg. So how I was growing up for you, you know what I'm saying? Single parent home or both yep. parents in the household? Man, I had both parents, okay. man. Um, my pops, man, my pops was a pastor, uh, is a pastor, and my mom was a, a teacher at uh, JDC. Okay. Yeah, she taught it. She taught in school. Uh, she taught at the jail on 49th Street. Uh, all the kids that got locked up, uh, she taught math, reading, and, and, and writing. And, um, you know, so she was teaching, quote, on, quote unquote, the worst of the worst kids. Um, but she had a heart for uh, helping uh, kids out, man. So um, I lost my mom to breast cancer when she when I was 20 years old. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, I, I live my life uh, to, to make her proud and to continue on her legacy. That's what's up. That's what's up. So living, like, would you say your household was strict, though? Because most people would think that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. My my pops a Marine by trade. Okay. So you know what yeah, I'm saying. I know I, how that is. You know what I mean. I yeah. grew I grew up in a strict household, man, and uh, it was good though. The discipline helped form me into who I am today. Uh, man, the little things, being on time, you know, uh, just respecting your elders, those types of things, man. So I ain't saying we had it. You know what I'm saying. We was gold spoon. You know what I'm saying. Not even silver spoon, but you know, I definitely had my moms and my pops, man, in my life, and and I'm forever indebted to them. For sure. So, what age did you get into football? Man, I got into football ratchet around. I shoot, I was I was seven years old, but um, they told me that I couldn't play until I was eight. Back then, they ain't have flat, yeah. so you know what I'm saying. So you had to be eight years old, and I went out. When I was seven, and they sent me home, I, I'll never forget, man. I cried the whole way home, dog. Like I was sick, man, cause I wanted to play. Uh, cause my older cousins played too. You know, shout out Chris Davis went to Florida State, Ryan Davis as well. Um, went to Auburn. Um, so shoot, man, I cried all the way home. Then I started that next year, eight years old. 
Okay, okay. Cause you know, like nowadays, they it's it's little league and it went crazy. Crazy. I'm talking about it's, it's just Man, like it's another level. <laughs> yeah, it's another level now. It's another but level. But it's also that pushback where we're not gonna st- get our kids involved until high school. Yeah. So did your parents ever worry about you getting hurt young? My mom did all okay. the time. She was, she ain't never really like it. You know, uh, the injuries that come with it. But she loves sports, though. My mom played basketball in college. You know, my mom, Samoan, uh, she from the island, 12 brothers and sisters. So my pops met her in the Marines over in Hawaii. Okay. Um, so she loves sports, but she hated the contact part. But, man, I mean, when you a soldier, dog, you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the, the, the competition and... You know, for me personally, I think I'm going to lean towards how the new wave going. I probably wouldn't let my son yeah. play until he was about 12, 13, let his body develop, let him play basketball, let him bone, stretch soccer. A bit yeah, out. let him stretch out a little bit before he get ready for it because if it's in him, it's in him. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'll definitely – I think for all the parents out there, all the uh, you know, that's aspiring to have their kid go to the league, I would say baseball, basketball, track, you know, Keep the motor skills right. Get them running fast. And if they football, you know, if they if it's in them, it's in them. You know what I'm saying? You can't put that in nobody. For sure. So your high school career, man, like, mm-hmm. you know, you went crazy high school. Yeah, man. Uh, it was it was tough, though, because we was the best thing smoking ninth, 10th grade. Okay. You know, played varsity my 10th grade. Got moved up after my ninth grade year. Um, but we lost all our seniors my sophomore going to junior year. So um, we ain't win a game my junior year, but I had, you know, I played kit returner, safety, corner, receiver, played everything. But we ain't win games because we had lost 25 seniors. You know what I'm saying? So when we go, we went to the second round playoff. Matter of fact, we lost to a Tampa team. I told you, we, uh, well, you're not from there, but Tampa Jefferson. Okay. Andre Caldwell, Bubba Caldwell, rest in peace with Shea yeah. Caldwell. Um, yeah, we played them and lost in the second round in, in the nail biter, but then we lost Pat Carter to Georgia Tech, lost Julian Riley to Florida, lost, you know, other players, UConn, Mississippi State. So we lost a lot of players. So it was only like two players on varsity from sophomore year. So then going into uh my junior year, we had all new players. So we ain't really do too good my junior and senior year, but you know, I would say that I did all right. <laughs> okay, but nah, you did more than all right. You yeah. got recruited though. Like, how many yeah. schools recruited you? And then, like, what made you make the choice to go to to UF? Man, I had, <clears throat> I had. See, back in the day, dog, I can't lie. I was, I don't know, I was a little slow, dog. I ain't gonna lie, man, because I thought, I thought it was only really like three colleges: Florida, Florida State, of Miami. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I had the cows, I had the Ohio States, I had. The uh, Iowa's, Iowa State, North Carolina State, Maryland. But I ain't really pay attention to them because I thought, being from Florida, that if you ain't go to Florida, Florida State of Miami, you ain't yeah. doing nothing. And you, you know? know what that meant back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Florida State was at an all-time high. Peter Ward. Then you got Miami, who had Andre Johnson, who just went into the Hall of Fame. And Florida, you had Fred Taylor. You know what I mean? So... Javon Kirsch, you had Antrell Rose, uh, the the Jeremy Shockeys, the Ray Lewis's, the Warren Saps, the Deion Sanders. Like, so Sean you, Taylor, you got so Sean many Taylor's, dog, you got so many, bro, just from these them three colleges, universities. So I ain't really looked nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? I had the offers when I think back and think about it. I'm like, dang, man, I, I really did get recruited by a lot of schools, but – if it wasn't Florida, Florida State, or Miami coming through the hallway, well, I wasn't interested. Okay. So I mean, <laughs> so who came to the who came to the house, man? Irvin came to the house, gave Ir- you a call. Yeah, Irv. So I was recruited by Z- Ron Zook. Okay. Yeah. I and then Zook. yeah, Ron Zook. I was recruited by Ron Zook, and Larry Fedora was the uh, wide receiver coach. And then uh, they got fired in December, but I committed my junior year that summer. Going in my senior year, I committed to Florida, and then. Uh, they got fired in December, and then Erd came to the house in January right after they won the Tostitos uh, Championship Bowl. And then, shoot, he was at my house the next day, and he was like, you still want to be a Gator? And, shoot, I was like, shit, you know, maybe, you know. And I told him I was going to take some more visits. 
But then he was like, man, don't take no more visits, man. We want you to be a Gator. And I was like, all right, cool. Once he said that, I was like, all right, bet. Because I had went on a visit to Maryland, and I went on a visit to NC State last minute because I ain't know what Florida was going to do. I ain't know if the coach was going to like me. Yeah, if he but was going to like you or not. Yeah, but then he came to the house, man, and then that's when, you know, the rest is history, man. Then my sophomore year, that's when Tebow mm -hmm. came and Brandon Spikes and Percy Harvin. That's when they, all them came. And then the year after that, that's when – uh, Deontay Thompson, Cam Newton, Aaron Hernandez. That's when all well, Chico, we call him Chico. Rest in peace to my dog, Chico. Um, I ain't never watched no documentaries about my dog, so I just want to put that out there. I don't know nothing about that, what they talking about. I know that Chico, Aaron Hernandez was a good dude. You know what I'm saying? He was chilling. You know, we was always kicking it, bro. So all that other stuff, man, you know, you know like they say in the street, dog, you can't speak on the dead homies. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So, so bro, your time at UF, y'all mean y'all had a ball at that. You won two natties. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? You were doing your thing at receiver. All mm -hmm. y'all boys was doing y'all thing all over the field. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was dogs all in the locker room, bro. Like, yeah, Jack was, Rabbit, Joe yeah. Hayden. That's what I'm saying. So, how was that, like, just competing every day in practice against bro, all the boys? That man? shit was hard as fuck, dog. That shit was hard, dog. Like, going against them dudes, you got you to think about it. Herb had five, four or five number one recruiting classes in America. Mm -hmm. So, you got the best players in the country coming to campus every day, every year. You know what I'm saying? January they coming in, and then they coming in in uh in July or uh, June. You know what I'm saying? So every day, man, like it was normal for us. What's crazy is I had to learn in the league that it wasn't okay to fight in practice. Like we grew up, the way Erd trained us was, was like if you fight on the field, don't let that shit linger over into the locker room. You hug up, dap up, and it's over with. You know what I'm saying? We had a song called Meet 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 uh Meet Us at the Gator Head. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We had a Gator Head in the locker room, big Gator Head, and we would slap box, you know what I'm saying, to get that anger, frustration out. And it would turn into brawls, but we'll be wrestling stuff. And it was all cool though, you know what I'm saying? We always had a good time. But, you know, to answer your question, man, every day in practice, dog, we man, there's at least two, three fights. Mm -hmm. It might be Pouncy twins jumping on Carlos Dunlap or Brandon Spikes, and, or it might be, you know, uh, Joe Hayden getting into it with Riley Cooper or, or, or Percy Harvin, you know what I'm saying, getting into it with somebody major right. And you, you had to have your dog back, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I know one rule, have your dog back, you know what I'm saying, have your brother back. So, you know, we will bump out there on the field, coach blow the whistle. It's over with, might get a little more scuffles, you know, a few plays later. But by the time we in the locker room, bro, it's, hey, man, where we going at? Where we going? We going to the club. We going to play cards. We shooting dice. What we doing? Playing the game. You know what I'm saying? So it was a real brotherhood. For sure. So your first time meeting Tebow, how was that? <laughs> man, that that was crazy, dog. That's a great question, man. Ain't nobody ever asked me that. Um, First time meeting Tebow, man, it was actually a dope experience. You know what I'm saying? Because we saw him on ESPN. You know, I'm a sophomore. We went nine and four. We won the Outback Bowl in Tampa against Iowa, um, and he's coming in as this parade all American. And shoot, I'm a receiver, so my first thing is, hey dog, you trying to throw? Yeah, you got to work with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what you try to do? And he was ready. He was like, man, hey, let's let's throw. You know what I'm saying? I'm like shoot, all right, bet. So we went in through dog. He had this little green car, dog, beat up, beat up car, and uh, cause you know he was homeschooled, mm -hmm. coming from the country, coming from the farm. And uh, so we went we went and, uh, through, dog. And after we threw, it was just me and him. And after we threw, dog, uh, we was riding back. He was taking me back to my dorm room. I ain't had no car. He uh, he threw on some T.I., dog. He threw on some T.I. And he played, he prayed, he played that uh, praying for help. I'm talking about, you know how I went that T.I. praying for help. It uh, started with our father, who mm -hmm. are in heaven. Man, this man rapped every single word to that song, dog. My first first meeting. And I was like, damn. I fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I like, damn, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Cause you know, it's a white quarterback. You know, I went to Florida. It was Chris Lee, black quarterback. Mm -hmm. I played in the all black school, black quarterback. So this was like my first real like interaction, like playing with a white quarterback. So and when he did that, man, I was like, okay, he one of us. You know what I'm saying? Like he down. You know what I'm saying? So that was that was like, dang, that brought back memories, dog. But yeah, that was the first time 
Me and him, dog, we threw, and this man threw on some T.I. <laughs> yeah, that, he's, you know what I'm saying? He's, 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 he's supposed to be Jesus Christ, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He threw on some T.I., so I was like, okay. I rock with Tebow, dog, and then that turned into us throwing all the time together, dog. Facts, bro. And you and what you saying, y'all was throwing all the time. I could tell because it, yep. it really showed in the game. You became one of his favorite targets. You know what yep. I'm saying? You, Hernandez, a couple yep. more people. You Percy, feel me? Percy. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all boys doing y'all thing, though, dog. Like, yep. and, and bro, how did it feel catching the catching the uh, touchdown in the natty, though? Man, dog, that was. That was like surreal, bro. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a dream come true. You know what I mean? Like you always dream of playing in the national championship. Cause my sophomore year we went to the national championship. We beat Ohio State, but I played special teams, mm-hmm. so I ain't really feel. You ain't get to feel it for real. I ain't feel it for real. I was happy. You know what I'm saying? I was happy. And for di- then you have a different number though. I had 82. Yeah, 82. I had 82, and then after that year I switched to nine. Though, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Shout out Maurice Robinson. You know, he was the coldest dude I felt um, in in the Berg, uh, in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, he ain't never uh, graduate, though, man. But he was like, I looked up to him. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Because I really, like, everybody know, dog, I wasn't really like that, dog. Like, I was good, but I worked hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, like, and then people say. So who was they comparing you to, like, back then? Like a, pos- a possession receiver? Yeah, dog, deep threat. Fast, Key, like you know Keyshawn what I'm Johnson type. Yeah, yeah, okay. but I was faster than Keyshawn though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I ran a four two at the combine. Yeah, I was gonna say you, you was saying? fast though. Yeah, bro. yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, I ran. We won. I won a state championship at track two four by one hundred. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So before the Griffin twins broke our record, so I was fast, but I ain't had that like Peter Ward like that. Percy that Harvin, off. like that, oh, that dust stuff, like oh, boom, cut back, cut back, cut back, go cross field. You know what I'm saying? But if you keep if you call slipping on a goal ball, you know what I'm saying, you send it 10 yards, dog, I'm going to blow past you. So I was more, like, compared to, like, because I never really looked into the media, but if I'm thinking about it, like, they was comparing me to, like, the uh, Keenan McCardells. They was comparing me to, uh, mm, I can't even think right now, a deep threat, man, a fast deep yeah. threat, 6-3 running, you know what I'm saying? So, and got good hands, so, um uh, yeah, man, that was, you know, I don't forgot the question now. Nah. I mean, <laughs> you answered it. You answered yeah, it. Yeah. But you declared, okay, you y'all win. Y'all win two natties, you know what I'm saying? And I got one more question before we get off UF, man. Yeah. When 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 Tebow made his uh when Tebow made his speech. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. When he made his speech, dog. What did y'all feel like in the locker room? Because I know I didn't talk to I didn't talk to a couple more people that was on that team, bro. Mm-hmm. And and Y'all always had y'all team together, regardless of Tebow being a yeah. And, and facts. I want to know how you, your perspective of when he got on there and made the speech. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Everything yeah. finna get turned around. It's gonna be all right. We gonna yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I honestly supported him. You okay. know what I'm saying? Um, I know the media make it seem like it's all he did everything, man. But you know, I supported him. Uh, the truth be told. But the, the the story behind that though was I was always. Everybody know my family know this. Everybody know this. Even high school, college, and the league. I'm always the last one to leave the locker room. I just get dressed slow, dog. I don't know what it is. I was just always tired. You know what I'm saying? I'll be thinking. You know, even in the wind, dog. Like I was never like rushing to leave, cause I enjoyed being around my brothers. Then also losing my mom my senior year mm-hmm. in college. The whole team came to the funeral. You know what I'm saying? So I love being. Like around my teammates, so uh, I'm I'm getting dressed off. Shower, I'm about to go in the shower. Tebow locker, like right at the edge, like right head into the shower. I'll never forget this dog. And uh, he had his head down. He was boo crying. I'm talking about crying dog. And I was like, and uh, and his dad and Urban was on each side of him. He was in the locker. Er and his and his daddy was right there. So it was just us four. So I'm walking out the locker. I mean, I walk into the shower. Boom, I get back out of the shower. And then I'm like, hey, bro, tighten up with that bullshit, bro. For real. Like, all that crying, dog. We ain't about to cry, dog. Like, for real. Tighten up. Like, hey, we about to go win this shit, dog. Like, I don't care what you got going on, bro. But we ain't got time to cry. Suck that shit up. Get your damn bootstraps on. Coach done looking at me, dog. Coach and his daddy, dog. I'm like, I'm standing over him. 
Cause they all three yeah, like sitting yeah. down. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I don't care about none of that. Bro, we got to win this, dog. This is my last year. I don't care about none of that. That that crying shit, bro. Suck that shit up, bro. It's one game. We lost by one point. We gonna come out of this bitch and win. You know what I'm saying? And then I showered up. I mean, I put my clothes on, left, got with my family in the dorm room, turned the TV on, and there he was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just a that's just a I ain't never told that story. Yeah. Cause you know, people be like, damn, Murphy, no, nah, I ain't never been like that with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care who get the credit, you feel me? But For sure. that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And I stand on that. And it's so crazy that you speak on leadership, bro, because I commend yeah. you also, bro, because I ain't never uh yeah. read your name getting in trouble up there, right? Yeah. And they they had they had a little article out saying 41 out of 55. Yeah. Feel me arrested. Yeah. Obviously, you weren't one of the ones that was arrested up there man, that we know about. That I we know about. Seen, yeah, 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 yeah. I never yeah. seen nothing in the media never say like. <laughs> man, you know I, I, mean? I I caught a marijuana charge up okay. there. I got quick, I got kicked out the team off the team um, up there, but I ain't get arrested though. I oh. got I, they just they took it, took it, and then they wrote me a ticket. Then they came home and all okay, that. I had okay. to go to you know handle it that way. Yeah. Um, so Herb found out about. Well, he ain't found out about it. My pops made me tell him. And that was, like, the toughest thing because I had already been kicked off the team twice before that. I had been kicked off for missing curfew, and I got kicked off for fighting. So that's why another thing, like, I was a captain on the team because, you know, I had got in so much trouble. Though. It urged mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. when them younger boys came in, they started doing, like, what they was doing, it was like, my shit was nothing. But Herb came in with that, I'm going to lay the law down. Like, ain't nobody disrespecting me. If you get in any type of trouble, you done. You know what I'm saying? And then the dude, I don't, did you watch the Swap, Swap yeah, Kings? I watched it. Mm -hmm. You seen the, the dude that died, Avery Atkins? Yeah. He was like, he ain't kicking nobody off. Mm -hmm. That was my partner. I'm the godfather of his son, Avery Atkins Jr. Okay. And Erd called me. I got the message in my phone. He like he was like, Murph, I really wish you would have did the documentary because you was a part of the, the whole story. And we'll talk off air about why I didn't do it. But, um... Yeah, that was my partner. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, his his baby mama, Bernard, shout out Bernard, shout out little Avery. Um, they from Daytona mainly. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think that's, like, when he died, I had done, got kicked off three times, and I was working on my way back the third time. And, um, and, and, and I'll never forget that phone call, dog. I was sitting in Key's apartment, and, see, I dated his baby mama best friend with cousin. You know what I'm saying? So I dated, we double dated, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they was cousins, and uh, one of them went to Florida State, other one went to Cookman. They from Daytona. And I used to go to mainland Daytona all the time, you know what I'm saying? My people from D-Land. So I used to always be in D-Land with him. And, and like, shoot, when I, got, when I got in the fight, when I got killed on the team, I was with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had a cutlass on foes, you feel what I'm saying? And we just had mesh. And he was all Americans, but coach treated him different. You know what I'm saying? I was a two-star, three-star, so he a five-star All-American Kona, you know what I'm saying, starting as a true freshman, and I'm wearing 82, ain't playing nothing, you know what I'm saying? So he treated him a little different, and then Avery just then, like, I don't know, dog. Like, I, I, I ain't never even talked about this, dog, publicly, but, you know, I think about my bro all the time, you know what I'm saying, because we – you know what I'm saying? He was the first one. He had a pick in the Florida State game. Dog. I was jumping off the sideline. I got a picture of that. And um, and uh, to see, you know, to still hear, like, what happened. Like, like, he fell asleep in the car, the garage closed. You know, did he commit suicide? Did he, was he drunk? Was he passed out? Like, what happened, really? You know what I'm saying? And those are things I ain't really want to talk about on Swamp Kings. And I'll, I'll, I'll give it here on this platform. Sure. Um. But yeah, man. So, yeah, dog. Like, I forget the original question, dog. But yeah, Avery, dog. He was the one that was like the 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 shining star in our class, dog. And though like he said the trouble being kicked off, but yeah, dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was a knucklehead, bro. You okay. know what I'm saying? Being from the south side, you know how it is. You clear water, you know yeah. how it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know Ola. Yeah. That sure. my brother. Yeah, my yeah. Boy. Yeah, yeah. Ola, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and him, we were rivals growing up. Okay. He was a dog. Yeah, he dog. definitely was a dog. He was a dog. He was a dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ola, man. So that's my brother to this day, dog. Um, so yeah, man, yeah. I got in trouble there, dog. And but that's when I 
you know, gave my life to God, you know what I'm saying, started doing the right things. And that's when, you know, Herb blessed me with, I like, he had a big brother, little brother program. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll never forget the first day he uh, came, the date, uh, not the first day, the day he came to me, it was like, man, you finally get a little brother, Murph. Cause you done been through all this trouble. You done been kicked all the team. You ain't, you ain't. I went from not being shit dog to being the captain. So I seen how he treated. If you was not shit, and if you was shit, and you know what I'm saying. So I was on both sides. And then he brought in. He was like, he was like, Murph, I got a little brother for you. I was like, what up? He like, he from Atlanta, Georgia. I said, what's his name? He said, Cameron Newton. I was like, for sure, okay. He was like, what you going to do? Where you going to take him? I said, I'm taking him to church, taking him to Bible study. He was like, all right, cool. And that was the first day I met Cam, dog, and we've been down since since that day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, Herb had an interesting way of doing things and how he created structure and order on the team. But, yeah, man, all of us got in trouble, dog. Mm. <laughs> I, I, thought I, tried, I thought I made it. I, yeah, 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 I thought you, you thought, were secluded, my, man. My mind was, you know. The, the marijuana didn't hit the papers, dog. I okay. actually told on myself, bro. Yeah, then. I was going to say, but your shit ain't hit the papers, though. I still ain't. You still, yeah. Yeah. For sure, mm -hmm. man. But, okay, so, you know what I'm saying? Y'all winning that is, bro, you declare for the draft. Mm -hmm. You get picked up by the Raiders. Yeah. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? How was that feeling, bro? Like, did you have a draft party? How, man. How it was? Honestly, dog, I was projected to go first round. Okay. And I ain't had no draft party. Um... Cause I was nervous. I was like, man, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? But it ended up turning into a drive party because, man, motherfuckers come out the woodworks, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm sitting at the crib, suit and booted, TV stations there, and all that. I was like, I don't know how the TV stations got here. It's, it can happen so fast. You know what I'm saying? I think my sister, somebody called my sister. Sister, next thing you know, we got Bay News Nine at the house. We got ABC News at the house. I'm chilling playing spades. With my dogs, and next thing you know, that this nigga called somebody, this nigga called somebody, next thing you know, I got calls all down the street, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't even throwing no overdrive party, and I end up going in the fourth round, uh, slipping to the fourth round because of some, another story that I ain't never told that happened between me and Erd, but uh, we ain't gonna go get into that, but slipped into the fourth round, and then uh, get drafted by the Oakland Raiders, dog, and I ain't know nothing about the Oakland Raiders. All I know is that they that the Bucks beat them in the Super Bowl. Okay, That's, but when you get that old, y'all got what? Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell, dog. Jamarcus Russell, dog. And uh, Man, that's I my that dog. That's my nigga. Okay, but I'm that's saying though, bro, like football standpoint, yeah. how was that though? Because you know Jamarcus Russell was supposed to be that guy off in the NFL, bro. Yeah. He, I know he's still a player, bro. However it goes, yeah, you know yeah. how I go. Yeah, man. You know it was tough, dog. Being his little bro. Mm -hmm. And living with him for four, five months, dog, um, the tough thing was seeing the gatekeepers around him and the, and, the, and, the, and the fuck niggas around him. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Like, I could see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you supposed to be his dog. Why you letting this nigga pull up? You know what I'm saying? Why you letting this nigga hit the blunt? You feel what I'm saying? Like, you supposed to be on some. I'm coming from a championship. You feel me? Thanks. I'm coming from beating LSU. You know what I'm saying? To nah. I'm chilling with Jamarcus Russell, riding in his Rolls Royce, all white phantom, meat flows, you know what I'm saying? In Mobile with him, you know what I'm saying? Chilling with his mama, his grandmama, all everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because my mama had just passed, so I was looking for yeah. a mama, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm looking for that love, you feel me? So, which I ain't never said to nobody, but I'm like, shit, the same thing with Tebow. Let me get with Tebow, I work, I work with him every day. Get with Jamarcus, I get there in May. Right around my birthday, May 11th. I got, got there like May 9th. Touchdown in Oakland. And then, shoot, we just started working out. You know what I'm saying? We're practicing. I'm going to his house, dog. Well, he ain't, you know, once he, like, the first practice, I scored like three touchdowns. So he was like, hey, yeah, nephew. Play. He like, nephew, pull up. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, shout out to Uncle Rat. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to J-Rock, dog. You know? Um, so, yeah, man. Uh yeah, man. So did you watch his interview that he did? He did an uh, interview. Somebody think, on on the on the pivot, pivot on, yeah. on the pivot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, was yeah. a good one though, bro. I yeah, yeah, yeah. He but, shot me out on there. Yeah. I heard him. I heard some people sent me some clips of it. You know what I'm saying? So, 
that was that was dope. You know what I'm saying? Cause that that was my that's my big homie. You know what I'm saying? I can't even lie. There ain't no if ands or doubts about it, dog. You know what I'm saying? It hurt how they mm -hmm. played them. It hurt how they played everybody against them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like Al Davis though, dog. Rest in peace, Al Davis. Like Al Davis, a monster. You know what I'm saying? He, he real mafia. Like ain't no if ands or doubts about it. I ain't gonna say not movie mafia. He just move. Yeah, like that. like that. I don't wanna put that out there. You know what I'm saying? But he definitely moved like a gangster. You know what I'm saying? All white Raiders, gold Roly. You know what I'm saying? Gold chains. And he always look out for. If you think about the Raiders' history, he always take the bad boys. Yeah, he do take the bad boys. Like yeah. still. Warren Sapp, Randy Moss. You feel what I'm saying? Like when everybody gave up on Warren Sapp, he took them. Everybody gave up on Randy Moss, he took them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he always had that. You know, first black coach, John Madden. You know what I'm saying? First woman in the uh, front office. You know, he a maverick dog. He a trailblazer like him. You got to think about it. The Raiders this year's season had a black head coach, a black GM, and a black woman president. Like, that ain't never happened in, in and, the history and, of the NFL. And he, like, the that coach that's, that's finna be their coach, I mean, he a, Antonio yeah, Pierce, he AP. He a good dude, bro. He a good dude, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and I don't know. I, I say everybody like AP. I got a different story about AP. Okay. And we'll talk off air about that. Okay, but, okay. um, you know, at the Davis family, dog, like, they changed the NFL. Jerry Jones wants to beat Al Davis. He can't. You know what I'm saying? Because Al Davis didn't see, like, he ain't see color. He just seen, which you should see color, but <clears throat> he saw, are you the best? Yes or no. Are you the fastest? Yes or no. That's how he looked at football. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't care about your record. He ain't care. He was the first owner to recruit HBCUs. You see what I'm saying? He 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 was in the AFL. AFL was a different league. AFL yeah. versus the NFL. So when he started getting all the black players from Grambling, FAMU, Jackson State, all them schools, he started beating all the NFL teams. So then that's what changed the model of, damn, we're going to go to these HBCUs and recruit these players, you know what I'm saying? The black players. So shout out to the Davis family, man. Like y'all, they 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 revolutionized football to what we see as today. For sure, for sure. So when you got there, you know what I'm saying, to the Raiders, what vet took you up under, you know what I'm saying, they win? Besides Jamarcus. Jamarcus Russell, shout out Big Money, Gerard Warren, okay. third pick overall, highest pick from Florida before uh Dante Fowler, uh Jason Campbell, quarterback, shout out J. Cam, uh, and Richard Simo. Okay. Big Simo, man, three time Super Bowl champion with the uh New England Patriots. D tackle. Big Panda. Joker Hughes, dog. He he working in the front office now with uh with the Raiders. Sure. So yeah, he he was the OG, man. And they the ones kind of molded me and showed me. And big TK, Tommy Kelly, you know, they the ones kind of showed molded me how to how to move. For sure. So when what 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 cornerback could you say you know what I'm saying that like 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 shut you down dog you got to you know what I'm ain't saying? no ain't nobody shut me down okay. ain't, that ain't happening that ain't happening you know what I'm saying you can look it up gave you some work gave me some work Champ Bailey Champ Bailey Champ Bailey okay. Champ Bailey and Charles Woodson them two right there you know I caught Charles Woodson towards the end Champ we had some real battles he know okay. that I know that um, Darrell Revis Revis was like that. Asante Samuel, them boys, them boys, them boys, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say, you know, they got me some plays. I got them too. Sure. You know what I'm saying? They can't sit there and say, I ain't get them too. That's one thing about it. I ain't going to never, and that's, that's, and you feel no lie. And, and you're right, bro, because, like, you you kind of came up in that era where niggas was still hitting. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So what's some of them linebackers that you was like, I ain't going across that middle, coach. I man, I swear I was crazy, dog. I'm you was the going across side, it, huh? bro. I don't care about none of that, man. <laughs> okay. I don't care. Nah, I was talking trash to Ray Lewis. I ain't going to lie. That might have been a dumb mistake. Yeah. But I was young and thugging, though. Like, bro, like, bro, we sorry. We losing. We, Jamarcus, they done bench Jamarcus, dog. Like, I want, I want the ball. I'm trying to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And... Boy, that boy Ray Lewis said, boy, I'm going to get you, boy. He went I'm going to get you. Middle. Man, I can't cross the middle. I, I, I dodged him twice. Okay. I dodged him twice. Got a feet. He said, God damn, you fast. I said, man, I thought you were supposed to be a preacher, man. Why are you cursing? Well, he got mad, boy. 
They sent me on a reverse, dog. I ran a reverse. Ed Reed coming down. I cut back on Ed Reed, get up field, and Ray Lewis hit me from the side, dog. I'm talking about the hardest I've ever been hit, dog. I'm talking about, boy, he knocked the wind out of me, fell on me. I fell on my shoulder, dog. He fell on my shoulder like this, dog. And he, he, boy, listen, I couldn't even breathe, but I had to pop up, though. Pop-up game. Everybody, real football player, nobody pop-up game. For sure. You don't stay down there let nobody see that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That they done got yeah, you. Yeah, you got to pop-up. Yeah. I stayed down for about a good three seconds, though. Three, four seconds, dog. But I, but when I got up, boy, I was dizzy. I was hurt. I couldn't breathe. I had to limp to the sideline. Yeah. Ray sure. Lewis, he, he living like that. <laughs> for sure, for sure. We definitely can see that, though. Yeah. But, like, okay, you get traded to, you know what I'm saying, what team you get traded Carolina to? Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers. I go to Cam. You go to Cam. Cam. Cam stand on the table to trade, get me traded <laughs> Okay. over there. You know and how was that, bro? Like, y'all working together, y'all doing y'all thing. I'm talking about Cam starting to he grow. Start, yeah, he, he was he, a – he, 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 he just won rookie of the year. Mm -hmm. I'm going in the year four. He going in the year two. And he picked me up from the airport. And uh, and he'll tell you this. He probably will tell you this. I don't know if he'll tell you if he won't tell you. But he, uh, you know – Seeing being in four years and I had done like been through the ups and downs and then being traded, he even he's even said it like the player that he was early in his career towards the end of the career, like for lack of a better word, like he kind of was like I ain't really recognize him, you know what I'm saying? Like that's my little bro sleeping on the couch, playing a video game. My dog go to the club, you know what I'm saying, mess with the same hoe, all that, you feel me? Like, but he kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> you ever met somebody that got famous? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Put it like that. You know what I'm saying? He got famous on me. You know what I'm saying? And that was tough to see. You know what I'm saying? But but I'm going to give you a little pushback on that too, though. Yeah. Because you got to think where he was coming from at that point. Yeah. He was coming from getting kicked off the team. I was there. Go to Auburn, win. He went to he went to a JUCO. Yeah, JUCO first. Go to Auburn, like bland, win. Bland, so come man. out number one overall, bro. That's like that's why I ain't hold it against. Yeah, him. I was like, that's like nigga. Sometimes like Rick you Ross can't tell me nothing. Like like, like Rick, <laughs> but she, you know what I'm saying. But you got to be humble. At this you got to be humble too, and then also too, and then I was shooting my dog money when he was in college, like when For he was sure. in, in JUCO. You feel me? I'm in the league. Shit, my little bro, Herb blessed me with that. You feel what I'm saying? God, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, and what's crazy is we, we got the same birthday. I'm two years exactly, May 11th, dog. He born 1989, I'm born 1987, May 11th. Same birthday. So when Erd said that this your little brother and we found out that we got the same birthday. It really meant that. It meant, like, I looked out for him. You know what I'm saying? It was like, no, nah, you know what I'm saying? This is my little bro. You feel what I'm saying? Sure. With, it, with it, my plug, then whatever you need, my house, my car, anything, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Anything you need, bro. Like that's how we that's how we built on this side. You know what I'm saying. So to see him pick me up from the airport and to live with him for like three, four months before I found my place. You know what I'm saying. Uh, it was cool. Then business, dog. Like he young. He, he you know he just came rookie of the year. Mm -hmm. Heisman rookie of the year. Now I'm your dog with you. You feel me? So. And I done been around a lot of famous people, dog. So I don't hold nothing against him or none of that. I ain't no nothing like that. All I'm saying is he got he was famous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you dealing with someone that's famous, the best way to put it is, dog, Rick Ross said it best, dog. Instead of beefing with your dog, you give him some distance. You feel me? That's sure. just the OG way to do it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of beefing with your dog, give him some distance. You know what I'm saying? It's, sure. It'll come back round, and now it's back round, and it's up. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just had the Super Bowl together. You know, podcast. He teaches me the podcast lane. And, you know, that's my dog, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I love him to death. You know what I'm saying? His pop, Cecil. Brother, Cecil. You know what I'm saying? Mom, Dukes. Everybody, like, love the whole family. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to never speak, that, speak bad about my little bro. Ever. You know what I'm saying? But you said, how was it? Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So I was just like, that's why I answered that. Like For that. sure. So you get you get traded to the Bucks. Yep. And bro, that's home team. Home team. I'm talking about 
I know, I know the whole bird was happy for that. Bro, man, I'm thank, I'm thankful to God, the Tampa dog. Tampa Bay area. I'm thankful sure. to God, bro. Cause you know I love the whole Tampa area. Tampa, Largo, Clearwater, shout out St. Pete. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine, all the counties in between. Um, you know, I'm glad that I came to Tampa in year six versus year one. Year one, well, I'd probably be done died somewhere, dog. You feel me? In a ditch somewhere, man. You feel me? Because I had to grow up. Oakland, like I feel like Tupac, dog, Oakland raised me. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's the city. Like, that's they call it the Bay over there. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we the real Bay, but everybody going to argue to say that's the that's real the Bay. Yeah, you know what I'm really saying? Because I was drafted the same year Steph Curry was drafted. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Steph went to the Warriors, and the Warriors, this the Warriors uh, stadium, this the Raiders stadium. They right there. So I was courtside watching Steph – Go ham, you know, early on. Um, but, you know, I'm glad I came to Tampa in year six because I was able to, like, you know what I'm saying, like, move, weed out all the, you know what I'm saying, the FNs from around you, sure. the leeches, you know what I'm saying? You got to, that. that's what it's tough, like, seeing Jamarcus Russell deal with that, bro, you know what I'm saying? Could you dig? Like, that's why I tell people, too, that talk bad about Jamarcus. Bro, could you imagine 70 million at 21, 20, 21 years old, 70 M's? Like, bro, everybody got their hand out. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I witnessed that. And then, shoot, the little two million I had, shit, it was like, it was for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Which I then they gave a lot of my rookie contract away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. But Tampa, though, it was love. Three years in Tampa was love, dog. Um, wish I could have done more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jamie, uh, Mike Evans' first year was my sixth year. You know what I'm saying? So being able to be there three years, me, Vincent Jackson, and Mike Evans, mm -hmm. you know, as a and three. I'm about, it was elite. It was elite, dog. It was, it was tough. It was tough to get an OC. It was tough to get a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Then we got Jameis. I played with Jamarcus Russell first pick overall. Mm -hmm. Played with Cam Newton first pick overall, and Jameis Winston first pick overall. You know what I'm saying? All young. None of them over year three. None of them over year four. That's why I say, like, I love Scantlin, dog. I think he a great receiver. I think he going to go down as the best receiver out of Tampa Bay area, out of St. Pete. But, man, goddamn, I wish I would have had Aaron Rodgers. Man, I wish I would have had fucking Patrick Mahomes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like, it's the luck of the draw. You feel me? So, having those quarterbacks young like that, Cam in year two, Jamarcus in year three, and Jameson year and one. All those teams that you just named, they was all on the down slope. Too. All on the down slope, dog. I went to I got drafted to the Raiders. They was two and fourteen. Yeah. Feel me? It was like I went to a good team, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I kind of wish, well, you can't really change that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They kind of put you where they want to put you at. But what was your best what was your best NFL game though? Stat wise. Stat wise, I had a few, man. I had I went for 125 and two touchdowns against Pittsburgh. Okay. I had I had a few 100-yard games, two touchdown games, um, game-winning touchdowns. You know, I might have 30 yards in the game, but it was the game-winning touchdown. Game I did that against the Bengals, uh, uh, Chargers. Um, had 100-yard games against the Saints, Cardinals. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's hard to get that, them triple digits. You know what I'm saying? So I would say, and especially with the quarterbacks I played with, you know, them hundred yard games, dog. It's a few on. Um, and bro, you played with some impactful people. Like you just brung up Vincent Jackson, bro. Yeah. How was that? You know what I'm saying? When you heard that news of him passing away, I had just talked to him, bro. Probably about two, three weeks before. You know what I'm saying? He, the big homie. Shout out to big homie. He was the big homie. I was the OG. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, and we and. Dog, I don't, it's fucked up, dog. My dog, A. Reakins in college, and then Vincent Jackson, he's an entrepreneur, businessman, on restaurants. Fact. I'm into the restaurant business because of what he showed me. I'm into real estate because of what he showed me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to meet with him, like, once every, like, like twice a month, just go to his office <clears throat> in Tampa on, on Dale Mabry, South Tampa. Now, uh, yeah, South Tampa. And just soak up game. Soak up game, dog. Cause he, I think about it, he had about 80, 90 million. You feel me? And then in Oakland, 
think about this now in Oakland, we played the Chargers twice a year. Mm -hmm. So he was big time with the San Diego there, Chargers. Yeah. So for three years, the first game he beat us. But for the next two years, we beat his ass. You know what I'm saying? You know, he know I best I used to mess with him all the time about that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't only lost to him one time. And it was uh I won, we won, we went one and five. You know what I'm saying? Won five games until his one. And then I ended up coming to Tampa. I used to mess with him, but we used to talk after the games and, and tell you, like, man, keep your head up, young you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. You feel me? He used to put me on and, you know, teach me, you know, business, dog. Football, business, whatever it was, dog. So seeing uh, V-Jack, man, uh, talking to him a couple weeks before that and then seeing him pass, dog, just know that everything that me and him talked about is in motion. You know what I'm saying? He came to St. Pete. He bought properties in St. Pete. Still got properties in St. Pete. You know, uh, had a restaurant in St. Pete. You know, all off of our relationship. You know what I'm saying? So uh, to see, you know, that and his wife and the four kids, man, it's a, it's a it's a messed up story, dog. Messed up story. And I still, I ain't never heard nobody die of alcohol. I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's three dudes, dog. Like, I ain't never heard nobody die of alcohol. Now, I might be oblivious to people dying of alcohol. I've never heard. Alcohol poisoning. I just ain't never heard yeah. of it at the time. You know what I'm saying? I done been I done been pissy drunk. You feel me? I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Especially at the National Championship game. You feel me? I don't know if my dog Chico, a.k.a. Aaron Hernandez, hung himself because you get acquitted of two murders, and then the next day you you dead. And I don't know what happened with Avery Atkins, dog. You feel me? And that's just, that's just real talk. For sure. At, mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie. Them three deeps, them, them <laughs> is three deep stories, for real, for real. For real, for real. And then, like, bro, you get traded to the 49ers or the Giants first? Uh, I went from the Giants. I went from Carolina to the Giants. Then I signed okay, that three-year deal, three-year, yeah. $9 million yeah. deal with the Bucks. Okay, and then you went to the 49ers. Then I went to the 49ers. That All was right. my last stop with Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch. Mm-hmm. And then, okay, you go to the 49ers, dog, but you go in the 49ers, like, they what they are the national news. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, y'all become the national news. Colin Kaepernick, he, he taking, taking the knee. knee. Yup. And you wanted a part of the, uh, the players on the team that was taking the knee. Taking the knee. Yep. Walk me through that, bro. That. Man, it was tough, dog. It was tough to take a knee and hear all the backlash. You know what I'm saying? Before it was cool, you know. Before George Floyd in 2020, this was 2017, they had just let go Kaepernick. I'm there, and it's me and Eric Reed carrying the torch. Mm -hmm. And ain't nobody trying to do it. You going to do it? You going to take a knee, dog? You going to take a knee, dog? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I'm standing on business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm standing with our people. Either you know, my pops always tell me, man, you gonna stand for something or fall for, anything. fall for anything. You feel me? So it was just like I felt like I couldn't show face in the hood, bro, if I ain't taking knee. You know what I'm saying? And my people from the hood, you know what I'm saying? I got family that I love dearly, bro, that, you know, I got that them being treated wrong by police officers. You know what I'm saying? I've been treated wrong by police officers. And then for to see the whole world, see the narrative get changed by Trump, by Jerry Jones, to hear the words that people was calling us, you know, during the national anthem, you know, nigga this, nigga that, get your ass up, you jigaboo, you, you know what I'm saying, all that, man, that shit was tough, bro. But I felt like I was taking the knee for the culture. I was taking the knee for the change. And people don't speak on a lot. On, on enough about how blacks and whites are actually there's friends there, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Even like Martin Luther King had white friends, so did Malcolm X had white friends. Like there's not enough narrative pushed that way, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you know. I feel like we need white people, black people need white people, and vice versa. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like why we're one race, one human race. You know what I'm saying? Versus skin color, dog. So that's what I stand on. And that's why I took a knee. I took a knee for police brutality. I don't know nothing about disrespecting the troops. I don't know nothing about none of that stuff. The narratives they was pushing. The conversations that I had with Kaepernick, 
the conversations that I had with Eric Reed, the conversations that I had with Malcolm Jenkins, those conversations were strictly about the uh you know the Tamir Rice, mm-hmm. Philand- Philandro Castile, you know, it was about police brutality, man, about black innocent blacks being gunned down by cops and nobody being, you know, nobody, you know, the cops just getting off scot free. But in 2017, it wasn't cool. Like, they was playing this against each other. Oh, if you take a knee, if you don't take a knee, if you take a knee, you might be gone. Like, I feel, personally, when they told me the last game, we played in L.A. versus the Los Angeles Rams. They t- they came and told me, they said, Murph, we don't want you taking a knee no more. And me and Eric Reed talked about it, and we said, bro, we still going to take a knee. And I ain't get a call back from the NFL. And I was in my prime. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy Garoppolo had, we went, we won six games straight. You know what I'm saying? With Jimmy Garoppolo. You feel me? So it's like, but they gave Jimmy Garoppolo a $150 million deal and sent me packing. But I ain't mad. I ain't tripping. I'll be a martyr. I ain't worried about that. And I'm not going to say, you know, do I feel I was washed up? No. Did they tell me not to take a knee? Yes. Did they call me back? No. That's just facts. You know what I'm saying? Now, however that plays out is however that plays out. However your opinion is, is your opinion. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion on what happened. For sure. And I'm not going to lie, like, and I know Colin Kaepernick wasn't washed up for a long time, too, bro. Yeah. Like, and black ball is real, and we we saw yeah. it with him. Yeah. In that, in the only that thing camp. that I the only issue I had with Colin Kaepernick was was that he didn't have a plan. What that, you mean by that? I felt like I asked him multiple times, what's the plan? What we doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's what What are we trying to gain from this? You know what I'm saying? It all started with him taking the knee for whatever reason. The whole world caught on to it. Everybody's following you. Okay, now, what is the plan? Where are we going with this? Are we trying to get funds for social injustice? Are we trying to, is it just working on your nonprofit? Are we creating a nonprofit for the entire NFL? Like, what are we doing? And I couldn't get a straight answer. That's when, and this was after the fact. This was during the off season, after mm-hmm. that year, after you know what I'm saying. That after that year, yeah, seventeen, eighteen was the last. Like January first, eighteen was my last game. I played on New Year's Day, on the 2018. So that summer, because he stopped playing that year too. Right. Uh, uh, it might have been the year before. Year before, because yeah, we yeah, carried yeah. the torch. Yeah, that next after, year. That next year, mm-hmm. you see know what I'm saying? So it was like. That was the only thing, man. I'm saying, and I hate to be. I just got to keep it real, dog. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I mean, <clears throat> that was the only thing that I just never understood was what was the plan. Because we, I had ideas. You know, my pops a pastor. You know what I'm saying? He stands in the community. He Martin Luther King in the in the bird. You know what I'm saying? Six thousand members in the church. You know what I mean? Uh, every political person that from senator to the mayor, they got to come through the church to get the vote. You know what I'm saying? To get the black vote. So I had some ideas and things to do with him. But he was, I think he had a lot of pressure on his plate. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say for whatever reason. I just felt there was no plan put in place for us to carry on his legacy. And that's all we was asking. But he couldn't really talk because lawyers got involved. So when the lawyers got involved, it was like, Murph, read this book. I'm like, motherfucker, I don't want to read no book. Like, <clears throat> what we, you know what I'm saying, bro? What we doing? Are we going, because from being just from, you know, being in Oakland and the Black Panther starting in Oakland and mm-hmm. Tupac and learning about that whole era through my OG Big Money, it was three things we had to do. We had to organize, strategize, and mobilize. Once you organize, you got to strategize. Once you get the strategy, you got to mobilize. You got to put it in motion. Feel what I'm saying? And that's what we kind of like, hold on, hold on, man. I can talk to this lawyer. I can't say too much, or this and that. And that's why I was like, bro, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I done took a knee, and now I ain't getting no calls, dog. Like, bitch, I ain't want this. So I, how many more years you felt like you could have played? At least a good three more. At least a good three more? I was 30. Okay, so at least I was like, 30. Like 2021. You know what I'm saying? I got drafted at 21. I'm 30. 
Shit, I got shit. Steph mm-hmm. Curry was drafted with me. Steph Curry playing now. Nah, you feel what I'm saying? I done gained some weight, but yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, it was other people that got that got that took bullets in that too. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's it's more than just me. Yeah, yeah. Because like you feel now, what I'm now that you see like years then pass by, you know what I'm saying? The NBA, how the NBA is, they start putting all the banners up, they start yep. doing all the marketing, they start you feel me? All that 2020, you know, the COVID, all that shit. COVID, George Floyd, dog. Like, I was happy. I was like, at that time, that's what I was saying. I was saying, bro, listen, I'm not a household name. I need Tom Brady to take a knee. I need Cam Newton to take a knee. I need uh, LeBron James to take a knee. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But they wasn't doing it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what was tough because you had the polarizing players not doing it. So you got all the walk-ons, you know what I'm saying, for lack of a better word, yeah. leading the charge. You know what I'm saying? But then when 2020 hit and George Floyd was so public and it blew up and everybody's at home on social media because the world shut down mm-hmm. and LeBron started doing it, and that's when it really made change and it kind of like allowed, it was like kind of okay. You know what I'm saying? For you know what I mean? So I was happy. I was happy. I felt like shit, what I did helped out. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts, man. <laughs> I mean, it gotta start from somewhere. Somewhere, sure. you feel Definitely me? You know what I'm saying? You know, that's why I, I salute all the OGs, dog. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that paid the way, the collective bargain agreement, the CBA mm-hmm. with the NFL. Shit, there was a lockout. There was a strike. I was a part of the first lockout. In, well, not the first, but the lockout in 2011. I was a part of the other holdout in 2020, 2021. The, uh, and now you see the contracts. Shh, mm-hmm. Look what Deshaun Watson got. Look what Lamar Jackson got. You feel what I'm saying? Did I get that? No. But I was in those rooms. You know what I'm saying? I was an NFL PA rep. And I was, you know, I stood on, I stood on business, dog. Like, we got to... Push the, we got to push the needle forward, you know what I'm saying, to make right. sure that everybody can eat. You know what I'm saying? It's enough for everybody to eat. That's and one I, thing and, I learned. And the NFL is a billion, billion, Big, billion. Come on, multi-billion dollar business, <laughs> business yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that was my thing. It's enough for everybody, dog. Right. One thing about it, dog, whether it's a podcast, whether it's your own restaurant, bro, you ain't got to hate on nobody, bro. It's enough for everybody to eat. You know what right. I'm saying? So, you know. That's what, you know, I, I like I back to the original thing, man. I'm I'm happy that 2020 happened. You know what I'm saying? Because it brought light to what was going on because the polarizing people did it. You know For what sure. I'm saying? They he had everybody taking the knee. Oh, yeah, high school people taking the knee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it. like private schools getting upset because high school players taking the knee. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Peacefully protesting. You know what I'm saying? And is and you seen whites and blacks come together. All Hispanics, Asians, everybody, everybody, everybody came together, dog, and that's what was so beautiful about it. You know what I'm saying? Was the fact that everybody came together. You know what I'm saying? We need each other, dog. I'm always gonna stand on it. Spread love, man. Definitely. That's that's Equality. what it's about, bro. Spread sure. love. So, man, speaking on OGs, who is the top? Who your top five all time receivers? Ooh, top five all time. You gotta go one Jerry Rice. Okay. Got to go Jerry Rice. Mm, caught me on guard. Two Randy Moss. Got to go two Randy Moss. My air. I'm just going to go my air, dog. I ain't going to get on all that. Jerry Rice, Randy Moss. Um, three. You got to go Terrell Owens. I'm going T.O. T.O. Four. I'm going to go Chris Carter. Ooh, nah. Dang, top five. I'm going to have to go six, dog. I'm going to go Chris Carter, Ocho Cinco, Steve Smith. So, no My two, OGs. No tour, Seven no, plus co-burst. No Tory Holt. Ooh. Tory Holt, no Larry Isaac Fitz Bruce. Gerald, no Isaac Larry. Bruce. They all in there though. They in there. They in no the top Marvin ten. Harrison. Ooh, Marvin Harrison. No See, Michael Irvin. Ooh, dang. Only reason why I'm going there, I'm going polarizing, dog. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add the culture to it. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Randy Moss brought something to the culture. Yeah. Moss. 
T.O. brought that. <laughs> T.O. T.O. <laughs> T.O. You know what I'm saying? Chris Carter was another Maverick before yeah. all that. You know what I'm saying? Then you got Ocho. Ocho changed the game mm-hmm. for for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he from Florida. Goals in his mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he had to go. I got to go there. And then I, I rock with Steve Smith and Plesco Birds. Probably Plesco Birds, Steve Smith. Yeah. So what's some of the young receivers that you that you be, you know what I'm saying, taking a mm. liking to right now? I like the young receivers, man. I, I like I like Justin Jefferson. Facts. I like um what's the other one? Um uh, Jamar Chase. I like Jamar Chase. But shoot, I still I like, right now I gotta even with them though, like I wouldn't put them over Tyreek Hill. Mm-mm. I wouldn't put them over Mike Evans. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people might argue that Mike Evans, but Mike Evans, dog, he doing something that we ain't, we ain't seen. We ain't seen, dog. Like people ain't seen this in this era. You know, you seen it with Jerry Rice, but you ain't seen it with my, like now. You know what I'm saying? So Mike Evans, Devontae Adams, yeah. You know, uh, Stephon Diggs. I rock with Stephon Diggs. Um, I like that. I, I like that young boy out of Baltimore, man. Zay Flowers. Yeah, Zay Flowers. I like Zay Flowers. He's shifty, quick, got good hands, made a mistake. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Now he got to bounce back. He'll bounce back. He'll bounce back. You know what I'm saying? He's from the crib, so I think he's going to be good. Um, Who else out there? The, 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 let's see. Carolina ain't got nobody. Atlanta, they got the boy London. Drake yeah, they London. Got Drake London. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> New Orleans, you got that. Uh, I like Debo. Yeah, Sam Debo, you. nice. Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. I like them. Um What about AJ Brown and um I like AJ Brown and Slim Reaper. Yeah. Um Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith. I like them boys. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um they did good. I like Scantlin. I like Scantlin game, dog. Like he is, he stretched the field. You know, he had a few drops this year, but ultimately they won the Super Bowl and he scored in the Super Bowl. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh I like I like the underdog type stories, man. I love them. Love them, dog. Ratchet. I love them. I, 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 love, I love that, dog. You watch Snoop Dogg movie, The Underdogs? I ain't watched it yet. You got to tap into it. I got to tap into yeah, it. It's, it's, on, it's it. on Netflix. It's on, it's on uh, Amazon Prime. I'm going to watch it tonight. Yeah, it's on Amazon I'm gonna Prime. I'm going to watch it tonight. So, bro, how you felt about Lamar Jackson winning the MVP this year? I love it, dog. I love it, man. I honestly called it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm in the analyst thing, man. I'm in the analyst world now, man. So, yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> My thing is the psychology of a player. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, I knew, like, you're playing with the man money. You know what I'm saying? Like, five years, dog. Like, it's certain quarterbacks that get paid after three years. Like, why is Justin Herbert got paid a hundred and some million? You know what I'm saying? After three years. You know, Carson Wentz, same thing. Lamar Jackson had to do five years to finally get paid. You know what I'm saying? After year three, winning the MVP, he looking to get the bag. Same thing with Jameis Winston. You know what I'm saying? So it's tough, dog, as a black quarterback. You know what I mean? And I know it's a tough subject for people. But from being in the NFL for nine years, dog, like, and seeing what happened with Jamarcus, what Cam had to do. Cam didn't get paid to year five. You know what I'm saying? We talking Cam Newton. You know what I mean? So – I'm for all. I just read an article about C.J. Stroud. He unfollowed the Texans. You know what I'm saying? Like, Damn. you know what I mean? Like, and that's the thing that a narrative that doesn't get pushed enough is that you can renegotiate every year. You know what I'm saying? You can renegotiate your deal every year, dog. But we don't have enough players. That's like that's why I love what LeBron James is doing with clutch sports. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I mean, people know. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, Rich Paul, Maverick, like, that's what they doing. You know what I mean? It's, it's changing the narrative of, of, of players representing themselves or someone, you know, like them representing them. You know, so a lot of OGs back in the day, I heard a lot of stories, man. Dudes would go back to the table after one year, like Saquon Barkley. Come on, man. Like, why he ain't paid? Like, that? he's the New York Giants. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, Josh Jacobs with the Raiders. Same thing. So... To answer your question, I love the fact that Lamar won the MVP because now, like, it's like dating. You date a chick, uh, you know what I'm saying? But then when she fully commit to you and she like, okay, like, I ain't going to say she married you, but that's why you got to kind of look at it in this scenario. You know what I'm saying? Like, you dating the team. 
okay, year to year, franchise tag. I'm not, you know, I'm on a rookie deal. People don't understand. Even if you go first round, dog, Lamar Jackson was the last pick of the draft. His deal probably was $12 million total, $13 million total. You know what I'm saying? And you got to do that for five years opposed to now – I'm a hundred million guaranteed, hundred and thirty something million guaranteed. It's, I'll give you everything. You know what I'm saying? And, and certain players' minds, certain players gonna back off the gas pedal. They gonna, you know, rest on their laurels. You know what I mean? Got the bag. I ain't gonna work as hard. But when you look at Lamar Jackson and you understand where he's from, Pompano, and that, you know what I'm saying? Like he want to go back home and be like. Yeah, bro, a hundred million in. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. now he about to go harder versus someone from I ain't gonna say it, but like California. He get a hundred million. He might be, he might paint his nails pink. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like Lamar ain't on that. You feel me? So that's why I'm like, I cause my my wife she from Baltimore, die hard Raven, Raven flock, Raven flock. I'm talking about her mom, her dad, grandparent, everybody, Ravens. You know what I'm saying? Purple and black, dog. She wear her jersey every week. She watch every game. Like she, my boy, my lady played basketball, so she an athlete. So she loved the Ravens, dog. And I used to always say, I'm not gonna root for the Ravens until they pay Lamar. When they pay Lamar, he gonna go to the Super Bowl. And he was one game away. He just ran into that boy out there. And the, <laughs> mm -hmm. Now that boy, my home boy, boy, that boy, my home boy, that boy, that different now. Nah. You got to understand, that boy different. You know what I'm saying? Certain players can get paid and work harder, dog. Some certain players going to get paid and slack off. Facts. And I felt Lamar's going to be that one that get paid and going to go harder. For yep. sure, for sure. And, 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 bro, what do you think about this this new media space? You know what I'm saying? Because they judge people like Lamar. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yep. All the time. And yep. the old media do. But the new media give people like Lamar spaces and opportunities to yep. get, out, get their voice out now. Yeah, man, I love it though, man. I love where 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 the podcast world is going, YouTube channels, all that. I love where it's going because you got a safe space to be yourself. Like it's stuff I talk to you about that I've never, I wouldn't talk to about on ESPN. I wouldn't talk about on CBS. I wouldn't talk about on Bay News Nine. You know what I'm saying? But I could come here and be more in a relaxed environment and feel like okay, I could kind of give some some game or some knowledge of where I've been and what's really going on. You know what I'm saying? So I love the new space that it is, man. And and, and the platforms that play like um uh Club Shay Shay, mm -hmm. you know, fourth and one with Cam, yeah. Funky Friday, The Pivot, I Am Athlete, all those podcasts, man. We are we are Florida, you know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure. You know what I mean? So it's like I love it, dog. I love it because think about if Allen Iver if Allen Iverson had this, had this, you know what I'm saying? How many stories you would have got? How much real stuff you would have got? You feel me? What if Dennis Rodman had this? You know what I'm saying? What if Terrell Mike, Owens? If Michael had this. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Love it. Ocho, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like you would have been able to really see that person for their genuine self mm -hmm. versus seeing the buttoned up person. So Lamar, um, you know, of course with. So much is given, much is required. You got to tone it back a little bit. You know, keep mm -hmm. it right. But even with LeBron James doing with the barbershop, you know what I'm saying? Like, he started doing that. So, man, I love it. I love it, dog. I love it. Speak your mind, young man. You know what I'm sure. saying? <laughs> Definitely speak, speak your, your mind, mind, dog. You watched the Cat Williams interview? I did. Yeah. I what did, you dog. About that, man? I did. It was long, bro. Yeah, it was long. It like, was long. <laughs> yeah, it was long. It bro. was long. But bro. it was entertaining, though. It's it was entertaining. I got to go. I got to finish it. it. I watched okay. like an hour and a half. You know what I'm saying? I think that he said it's some truth into what he said. You know what I'm saying? But do I truly know? I Is don't. It, I'm saying, though, have you ever have you ever felt like that in the, in the lead, though? Where like, those gatekeepers, I'm talking uh, about. People yep. that can get you in this door, but then shut this door on you. Yeah, for sure. Without a doubt. You okay. know what I'm saying? I used to think, like, man, like, man, what they doing back there, bro? They fucking, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, why is he getting paid? And why is he always in the front office? You know what I'm saying? Why is he always up there? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. what's going on? You know what I'm saying? And why can't, like, 
I always was I was always unapologetically myself. You know what I'm saying? I swear I just carried myself. And I never been no brown nose. I ain't never been nobody to go up in the front office and talk to coach all day long. Go up there, coach office, and I ain't got nothing to talk about, but I'm just up there. Like, I just, I'm going to the crib. I'm about to spark one. I'm about to chill with the fam. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what I was on. You know what I'm saying? I never really came from that era of playing the game and company guy. You feel me? But you learn that you got to play the game. If you're trying to get paid, bro, you got to play the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying sell your soul or anything. I'm saying that, you know, go to the special events that they want you to go to, do the autograph signings that they want you to do. You know what I'm saying? Keep your pants pulled up. You know, enunciate your words. You know, because they, at the end of the day, I'm a businessman now. So I understand it, too, from a business aspect side. Like, you got to, if I'm selling product or whatever it is, if I'm selling wood, you know what I'm saying? Like I need someone to come through with this contract that they want to build a whole housing development or apartment complex and they coming in suit and tie, then you got to come in suit and tie. You right. know what I'm saying? Like you got to do those things, but you know, um, what we was talking about now? Cause you know I get to talking, dog. I <laughs> forgot what your question was. That was a good question, but yeah, yeah. My 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 question. Uh, I forgot my question now, but yeah. <laughs> but nah, um, yeah, I forgot the question. But my next yeah. question was to you, man. Life after football, like how yeah. it, how has it been? I know you've been coaching. You know what I'm saying high school football and everything like yeah. that. How has that been for you? I did coaching for three years. I stepped okay. down in January of 2023. Okay. It, I loved it, man. It, it was cool. I met some great kids, man. Had some great relationships with the boys, man. Gills High School, all black high school. The only school blacks could go to in St. Pete. Uh, you know, back, starting to open in 1926. So learning that history behind it and coming off of taking the knee, it was like right what I needed to mm-hmm. kind of like transition. You know what I'm saying? So now I've transitioned from coaching into business. I own okay. I own a few uh, tropical smoothie cafes, uh, doing real estate as well. Um, so, yeah, man, and then not doing the podcast, one-on-ones podcast, number one sports debate podcast in the world. I'm speaking it like Muhammad Ali. Fast. You know, uh, like Muhammad Ali said, I knew I was the greatest before anybody else knew. So... Uh yeah, so man, the transition been good, man. Leaving football, I don't miss. I never was a fame guy. I played with polarizing players, dog, and I would and I like going out with them because I would never get asked no questions. You know what I'm saying? But if I used to go out by myself, then I would get noticed, and you know what I'm saying. So the transition has been good, man. A lot of dudes can't tr- transition well because they're addicted to the fame. Facts. Like you know what I'm saying? They they want people. I'd rather go somewhere and nobody don't know me. I, you know, and with this era now with social media, I know I was talking to one of the OGs. They was like, and he put it in perspective, dog. Like these kids do everything to be seen. The era that the era that I come from was that we did everything and didn't want to be seen. We were trying to sneak away. We like we gonna sneak away and hit the joint. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We gonna sneak and drink. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays they won't. Show everybody. That's just like when you working out right now, they make sure they set their camera oh up before they Oh, my gosh, man. Go to like, lifting. Like, you're not even living for real. You're only living for the camera. <laughs> hey, man. You know man? So that was another thing to when my marketing person told me, like, to film my workouts. And I come from the era of I didn't want you to know I was working out. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you knowing what I'm doing. I don't want you knowing – what my drills is or how I'm beating you. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like, if you not showing that you working out, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't working out. Like, you ain't working out. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, and that's what, because when I told you about the cap thing and I was, you know, that was in 2018, 18, 19, I was still trying to get back in the league. And my agent was like, man, you need to post your workouts. I'm like, bro, I ain't never post a workout. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, that's the wave. Like, you got to show that you working out. I'm like, all right, you know, I'll show that I'm running routes and this and that. But that was, you know, foreign to me. You know what I'm saying? But the era now is like everybody show their workouts, dog. Mm-hmm. Like that's why that's why I believe football is going to get better. Yeah. Honestly, 
because of social media, dog, because now you got kids that could do drills that they see Odell Beckham doing or they see Devontae Adams doing or they see, you know, LeBron James doing. Like, Any you know? seven on seven camps. They got all that nine. Bro, it's me? crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, dog. Like, this era, like, man. It, that's why I, I think the game is gonna keep getting better, dog. I ain't gonna be, I ain't that old head to be like, oh, we were way better than y'all, and bro, these kids different. These kids different. And that's why <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, he speaking kid on different, kids dog. being different, bro. Travis Hunter from Colorado, you tapped in with him, like you I know about him. I know about him. Yeah, I know about him. I haven't, you know, I know his, I know like Deion Sanders and yeah. his family and stuff, but I don't know. But have you ever Hunter. like watched his high school highlights and all that yet? I haven't, dog. Man, that man been a beast. That's dog. why all these kids, he had a following before. Before. Before Dion. Before uh, this Dion thing even came about gotcha. at Jackson State. Gotcha. That man been like. I know he put the world on notice when he went to HBCU. Yeah, yeah, he was the sure. number one corner, number one but receiver. He was hurt, bro. That's what I'm saying. He was hurt his junior year. Damn. So people been waiting on him from ninth grade, tenth grade. Well, really like eighth grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade. And then they waited that senior year. And he, he did his thing. And damn. then he went to HBCU. But yeah. I ain't gonna he lie. Did. We didn't expect that though. A lot of people didn't expect him to go to HBCU, and then that whole thing just turned around. Turned around. Then when you see what he did against TCU, the first game, dog, yeah. like he a you know whole different saying? beast, bro. He a different beast, dog. And that's I honestly feel that pl more players should play both ways. Okay. Like I played Kona and, and, and I mean, safety. I feel like they should play both ways because shit, they getting that nil now. Bro, <laughs> they get you, to go in the transfer portals and everything else like that right now. And dog. the NIL is changing the game, dog. But I'm going to say this too, though, about the NIL. I I like the NIL because it was times where I couldn't afford McDonald's. I was, was going to say, I know you got some NIL money. Uh, yeah, I got, a little, I, got, <laughs> <laughs> I got a few little dollars, you know what I'm saying, at Florida. But my thing is, is that it's a smoke screen because – Players don't get paid to play football. If you catch what I'm putting down, like so, image and likeness. Yeah, like you get paid to come here, mm -hmm. and it's okay. But in the NFL, when you play on Sunday, Monday, your that direct deposit hitting, or if you ain't doing direct deposit, your check is sitting on your chair in your locker, like. Because you just played the Denver Broncos or you just played the Seattle Seahawks. You're getting paid because you played the game. A game check. A game check. Yeah. College is not doing that. Nah, they they just paying. They paying because you went to this restaurant and you did an autograph signing. They paying because you went to this uh, this car dealership and you did an autograph signing at the, at the car dealership. You did a commercial shoot. They're allowing you to get paid. But the college... And all the money they making, how much Alabama making? How much Florida making? How much Colorado making? You feel what I'm saying? So now it's on businesses, small businesses, and big corporations, Coca-Cola, whoever, to pay these kids and front the tab. That is. Opposed to the college front and the tab. But they told you they was going to find a way that, that they could pay them, though. They did say that. They said they was going to find a way to they gonna they find. They're going to find a way to pay them, but it's like I want to see the game evolve to. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it shouldn't stop here. Let's evolve the college game to where if you playing at a D1 school or whatever college you at, after the game, you get your money. You ain't See, that's the thing about NFL. You got a choice to do marketing because I'm already getting – a million dollars, two million dollars, a hundred million dollars from the NFL. So now it's my choice to do Pepsi. It's my choice to do Apple, Microsoft, Podcast, Mercedes, State Farm, Insurance. It's my choice now. That's my extra money to my bag. But I'm also I'm getting my original bag. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, they, but the obligation in y'all loyalty a little bit more different than theirs though when you in college. What you also, mean by that? But cause like your 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 obligation to the league, y'all have to do this. Y'all gotta do this. Y'all gotta yeah. show up for these games. And college is really like a choice, like you said. Yeah. And then like like just just by being in college, you know what I'm saying? They pay they paying them for their image and their likeness. But at the same time, like you said, it's a choice in the league. So yeah. now these these kids and getting the nil deals. 
they just they making them so popular where well, they not gonna need that when they get to the league. Ah, uh, I bet it different. You think so? Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Think about it. okay, who's the highest paid college player right now? Um, Shador Sanders or Shador uh, Kayla Williams. Okay, at USC. I know, and I know uh, they was finna pay Manny, but I don't know what he getting paid. Manny, yeah. what you think they? What you think they highest? What do you think the NIL deal is? Five mil. Yeah, this up there. It's about five. Five mil, right? Yeah. Do you know what CJ Stroud and uh, your boy out in Carolina? What's Carolina? Um, what's Carolina quarterback? Bryce, Bryce Young? Is that the quarterback name from Alabama? First pick overall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young, Bryce Young, Bryce Young right? You know what their contract was, they rookie? Bryce Young was $38 million and CJ Stroud was $37 million. But look, let me let me finish saying what I was saying. Go ahead. Now, when the kids get it for leaving, getting enough from high school, bro, the money is going to be coming so fast that they not even, some of them not even going to make it to the league no more, bro, because they're getting the money so fast now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of them not going to need it. They're going to drop out. A lot of them going to stop going to school. A lot of them going to Well, you, you got a me? point. So it's you like. You got a point. You got, I ain't never thought about that. And what you're working for is different in the NFL for like somebody like you that came in the game where. Now, we we wanted to work for that game day check. Yeah. Nah, they already seeing the check before they even step on the field. Yeah, that's tough, dog. The whole, so that's gonna water the game down. Yeah, you and that's why I said the obligations are was different for y'all. See, yeah. nah, they ain't obligated to do nothing. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. They got it's gotta Besides be something. going out there saying, "Hey," and this ain't nothing. This ain't scrapping on their helmet <laughs> doing nothing really. You know. But I'll say it. But the thing about it is one thing about it though. One thing that's gonna stay true to the game is dogs. <laughs> if your ass ain't making no plays, <laughs> yeah, get what? Them checks ain't coming, dog. Facts. Perfect example: Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield disappeared from progressive commercials. Remember, he had the whole progressive in the mm-hmm. stadium and with the Cleveland Browns when he got traded to three four teams in less than a year. Bro, he lost all them endorsement deals. You feel what I'm saying? So, and then there is mandated through the CBA that you got to address the media. Like, you get a 10-minute break when you get in the locker room after the game, and if a media person come up to you, you have to talk to them. It's mandatory. That's a rule? You get fined. Yeah. Remember Marshawn oh, yeah, Lynch? Yeah, Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, yeah, Remember yeah. he said, I'm just here so I don't get, so fine. I don't get fined. So it is. It's not a choice. I, I, I misspoke. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's a choice if you want to go get that extra you know that what I'm saying? Money. That extra money, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to go to this club and do an appearance, walk through, get me five, ten grand. That's the extra stuff. The, you know what I'm saying? But media, like this right here, say you a certified reporter with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, mm-hmm. and you go up to Mike Evans and ask him a question, dog, he don't talk to you, bro. That's reported. It's on camera, and it's reported, and they're going to find Mike Evans for not talking to you. Mm-hmm. It's a business, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because they own the networks. <laughs> that's crazy You feel what I'm saying So that's why I say Eventually dog I just want College players To get paid For playing You know what I'm saying Okay look Check this out Incentives In a contract I had incentives In my contract If I get 50 catches I get 500,000 If I get 60 catches I get another 100,000 On top of the five If I get 70 catches I get another 250 On top of that You feel what I'm saying If I get 1,000 yards I get a million dollar bonus See you know what I'm saying Like they don't have that Mm-hmm. In they deals, you know they what I'm saying? Got that in they you feel deals. me? That's the only thing I'm saying. Like, I want them to get paid for playing. If I throw for four, three thousand yards, five hundred rack bonus. You know what I'm saying? If I make it to the Pro Bowl, if I make All American, you know what I'm saying? If I make it, if I win the Heisman, two million dollar. You know what I'm saying? They need to put, but the colleges ain't paying. For sure, you definitely need to get paid if you win that Heisman. Heisman right For or wrong, sure. like you know what I'm saying, sure. Roger? Like, bro, if I win the Heisman, dog, or the blitting the call, the no one receiving yeah. in the country, bro, and and like you gotta expect that Pepsi or uh, State Farm gonna come in and pay you, and you gotta have somebody working for you to manage that deal. You see what I'm saying? Opposed to, you know, no, nah, I play for Alabama. Alabama paying me. See, the college running from that conversation. Mm-hmm. They running from that conversation. You know what I'm saying? Because they getting money off the ticket sales. They getting money off everything. Hot dog, beer, soda, parking. College getting the money off of everything. You see what I'm saying? And I'm talking about, I know you know, because, boy, y'all sold some seats out. But listen, dog, like, 
They said that my t- my four years in college, I think they say Florida made over three hundred seventy million dollars, mm. and I ain't see a dime of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? That we made so much money that we had to make another sport. We had to add a lacrosse team because our money was so high. And lacrosse wasn't even there. Lacrosse wasn't there. They had to make a women's lacrosse team. They built new stadium. They built a baseball team, a new stadium. They built uh, they built um, the they just put a hundred and fifty million dollar facility at Florida. Yeah, between Football. y'all and the, uh, that that basketball team, them them years, boy. Joe Kim Noah, Al Horford, man, the boys was polarizing, dog. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. I, I I can't. I always say this, man. I think I probably had the best college experience ever. You know what I'm saying. Basketball team won two national championships. Football, we won two national championships, and track won like three national championships. So we party all day. Every season was a party. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> bro. Listen, bro, it was it was crazy, dog. It was normal, like it was normal for us to like walk to the club, line right around the corner. We just walk straight in, mm. 30, 40 deep. You know what I'm saying? Just going in, boom, like bottles passing the club owners passing us bottles. Nobody can't get in, dog. It, that was normal in college. And when I got to the league and we had to wait at the door, I was like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? For sure, bro. So I got two more questions before we get off the podcast. Yeah. Man, what's I know you do a lot for the community, but you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? What's one of them things that you wish you can change in your community, but you still working on it? You know what I'm saying? But, like, that you want to see done in your community, though. Man, um... One thing I do do in the community, we I'll probably spin off of it and get back to that, man. I'm going to remember the change. But, like, um, First Downs for Life, that's my nonprofit. You know what I'm saying? We do uh, free football camps, cheerleading camps, turkey drives, backpack giveaways, Christmas shopping sprees. Uh, we work with Moffitt Cancer Research Center in Tampa, uh, working with kids whose parents are going through chemo and radiation. Um, so... I definitely want to drop that, you know what I'm saying? July 12th and 13th, we're going to have a charity celebrity basketball game. We're going to have, you know, all everybody going to pull up. You know, uh, we've been doing that for like 15 years. Uh, would love for you to come out too, Ratchet, and the whole do. team, you know what I'm saying, sure. get y'all some some footy, even playing the game. For I would sure. love to have you, you know what I'm saying, Rod Wave won our MVP the last time we did it. Okay. He played in the game. Uh we had a lot of different dudes playing the game, man. Rest in peace, Vincent Jackson. He done played. Rayshon, Marquez Valdez, Scantlin, Dante Fowler, uh, DJ Swanger, Jason Campbell, Jameis Winston. Shit, we done had, you know what I'm saying? We do we do a big, bro, over in the bird. Uh, Dominique Rogers Camardi, Mike Jenkins, you know. Uh, yeah, so we try to do, you know, keep everybody. We're going to have Ray Ray McLeod this year and uh, this year as well. Savion Smith as well. So, that's one thing that we do in the community, dog. Like, we always, uh, I'm always giving back, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, my pops always told me, man, uh, if your hand always, if you always receive and always got your hand closed, always taking, you know what I'm saying? You can't never have room for the big blessings. You, know, you got to give so that your hands is open so that you can receive, you know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I do. The change in the community I would say more so than anything is equity in the black community. You know what I'm saying? Uh, It's a lot that we've been through as a people and as a culture that uh, people benefit off of our name, image, and likeness. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's tough, man. St. Pete pricing, the market, the housing market is going crazy. You know, it's hard to, it's, you know, white or black, though, dog. That's another thing, too that people don't understand that it's some poor white people too, dog. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I just want equality and equity, dog, for for the less than. You know what I'm saying? For for people who are struggling. You know what I mean? I feel there's enough money out here in the world that everybody everybody should have to struggle. And I mean, don't mean you ain't got to work. You got to work. You know what I'm saying? Everything come with work. You know what I'm saying? A man shall eat by the sweat of his brow. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I just wish that you know, people that don't don't have as much, man, could get those resources. And there's some, there's programs out there, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you can never have enough for, for people who don't have, you know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I, w- I would love to see, man, is, is the equity part, you know, opposed to equality, you know. 
equity, man, is, is saying that, you know, we can have businesses and like the Trump, the talk the try senior partner uh uh with the um Tampa Bay Rays hat. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like the Rays, that was in the black community. You know what I mean? That was businesses, that was thriving black businesses. And then now, you know, the stadium is there, which is cool. It still brought business to St. Pete. But, you know, with the redevelopment, you know, will it be some, you know, some black-owned stores there? Will we be able to put this podcast there? You know what I'm saying? In a space that we all could, you know, come to. You know what I mean? Those are types of things that I would like to see change. Okay, okay. My last question to you. I got a question before you go, too. Okay, okay. My last question to you is, bro, who is the best quarterback you played with? I got a two-part question. Who the best <laughs> oh, quarterback you played you with? That with uh, yeah. <laughs> who the best quarterback you played with, and what's the quarterback that you wish you could have played with and then caught a ball from, you know what I'm saying, caught a touchdown? The first, uh, the second part of that question, uh, who I wish I could have played with, yeah. Tom Brady. Okay. Ain't no without a fucking doubt. For sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tom Brady the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could have played with Tom Brady, dog. And I was about to be drafted by the Patriots, dog. Mm. And the Raiders call the Patriots call first, and I ain't never heard of this. And y'all probably have, I haven't, dog. But the Raiders traded for me in the fourth round. The Patriots called. I talked to Bill Belichick, hung the phone up. The Raiders called and said, "I'm not going to New England. I'm going. To, I'm, I'm going to Oakland." So I thought I was going to play with Tom Brady. So that right there is like I wish I was would have went. I would have got me some Super Bowls. You know what I'm saying? And I I know I ought to listen to him. You know what I'm saying? I know I ought to fit, fit right in with him. I ought to work out with him. When they, where he went, I was going to go. You know what I'm saying? So that's just been my MO. All my quarterbacks are like that. This, the first part of your question is, who's the best quarterback I played with? Ah, the most, the most dynamic, most polarizing, most athletic, gifted, is Cam Newton. Okay. Cam Newton by far, dog. Like, he could make a play out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though it hurt my stats because I could be running wide open 50 yards down the field and he running, shaking somebody, running somebody over. You know what I'm saying? Uh, But he was, like, the most dominant, you know what I'm saying, player that I played with that could really change a game and affect the game. The best cerebral thinker can put the ball in spots. Mm. Dang, that's tough, dog. And it might be a little biased. But he a gunslinger, though, dog. And all the gunslingers had a lot of interceptions, dog. I have to say Jameis Winston. I knew you was going to say Jameis Winston. I had to, I had to say Jameis, dog. <laughs> like... Man. He a gunslinger though. For sure. See, the thing about that is, and a lot of people might disagree, but as a receiver, damn that, throw the ball. You feel what I'm saying? Like, throw it. Take a chance. You know what I'm saying? If it's a pick, it's a pick. But at least I had the chance to go up and do something. Do something with it, yeah. opposed to watching you run. You know what I'm saying? I played with Eli, but I ain't I was on the team, but I ain't get in the game. For sure. I scored one touchdown, but I ain't. They had they played with Victor Cruz and Hakeem Nix. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now to see him like his arm wasn't like he ain't had nothing like you know his arm wasn't strong. You know he threw wobbly balls, but he could make the right play at the right time. And the time that I played with Eli, I played only one season with him. I think we won six or seven games. You know what I'm saying? I was with Jameis, and we went, what, I think like eight and eight, you know what I'm saying? And he did his thing. So, yeah. But And then I didn't play long. Carson Palmer came for like the last six or seven games of the season. So he was one of the ones that I seen like command the offense, call the plays, but he came in in the middle of the season. So I ain't really get a chance to really feel his mojo. So I would have to say Cam Newton and, and, and Jameis Dog are the top two that was like like that. You know what I'm saying? And sure. if he and if he didn't get hurt, Jason Campbell. Auburn, undefeated SEC, mm-hmm. first round draft pick, so sixteenth overall to the uh Redskins. If he got hurt, dog. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, yeah we, we was on our him. way. We was on our way. 
I got a question for you, dog. What's going on? Since you, uh, what got you into this, man? What got you into interviewing? You know, getting into the to the rap scene. I seen interviews with you with Kodak Black. I seen the Boosies. I seen these other younger Florida rappers, man. What got you into this? Um, man, I've been basically rapping for a while or whatever. You know okay. what I'm saying? I've been, I've been. You got in, bars? A little bit, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> so I've been, <laughs> I've been yeah. like a like a what they call it, like a music head. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Musician, you, you like the historian. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, music yeah, yeah, yeah. Type yeah. shit. So okay. man, I just really. Been watching interviews, been watching documentaries and stuff like that. But I always knew, like, when I was in high school, I can talk to people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I started cutting hell when I was in high school. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, that'd get to the gap. I'm talking about, yeah, bro, yeah. I, I, I already knew I had it. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, I started yeah. cutting hell in high school. I always been, like, somebody, you know what I'm saying, that can connect to people. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So even being in the hood or being one front type shit, I always yep. been that person that connect the Everybody, you feel yeah. me? I could talk to a bum. I could talk to the richest man in the world. You feel Facts. me? I'd be able to Facts. get some game from the richest man and be able to get some game from the bum. Yep. You get what I'm That's saying? Real. So I was just really just sitting around, just watching, watching. I forgot who podcast I was watching, but me and my homeboys, we ain't really like what they said that day on yeah. the podcast. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Hell nah, 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 yeah, we, yeah. We need to start some own, our own shit. Yeah. They didn't really think take the shit serious, and I really like. I met two. Uh, Two guys like some years back mm-hmm. when I was doing my music things, or whatever, and I had did an interview. What's their name? Uh, Dylan and Lalo. You okay, know what I'm saying? they they okay. run mix one in Central's, but uh-huh. I met them some years back. I did an interview with them some years back or whatever, and it was for my music. So I was just trying to promote my music and and, and get a name out there for the like the local rappers. You know what I'm saying in mm-hmm. my area and stuff like that. And we did an interview. I seen they had this little nice space or whatever, and I asked them, like, two years, fast forward, went by. I asked them, I was like, man, y'all trying to look, do do some stuff, like, with podcasts and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all already got the interview space and everything like that. Mm-hmm. So we sat down, we talked, started putting shit together, and, bro, like, it, it been going up ever since. Like, up. our first person that we got, shit, it just took off ever since then. That's what's so, up. Really, bro, my, 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 I had the same work ethic, though, with everything that I always did. Gotcha. And, like, whether it was going to school with barbershop, like, you know yep. what I'm saying? Whether it was in the streets, whether it was playing football, Facts. whether it was this or that, you know what I'm saying? Helping my kids. Like, I had a kid when I was, like, 17, bro. Gotcha. So, How, I always. Boy or girl? Girl. How old she is now? She 10. I got a 10-year-old. Yeah. So, 10. you had her in 2013. Mm-hmm. Facts. Me, Yo, too. 2013. Yep. So, I've been grinding since then, bro. So, like, yeah. whatever I put my mind to, bro, I always tell myself I could do this shit. And I always tell myself, be you, and whatever you do, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And the better, you, the more the more grind you get, you know what I'm saying, the better outcome you're going to get in life. Gotcha. Who who would you say is, like, see, I'm an old head, dog. So, like, my favorite Florida rapper, dog, is probably Rick Ross. You know what okay. I'm saying? Trick Daddy before that. I grew up on the Hot Boys. I grew up on Gorilla Warfare, Lil Wayne, you know, uh, Master P, No Limit. Uh, who would you say now is a young Florida rapper to, like to watch out for? Uh, Boss Man D-Lo. Boss Man D-Lo. Yeah, I ain't heard him for. Yeah, he, he got, got some flame. Yeah, he got some flame. You got Boss. I mean, of course Kodak. <laughs> yeah. Of course Kodak. Of course Raw Wave. Yeah. So yeah. So like you know, all right. So Raw Wave and Kodak Black song together. I I, could, I love that song. I can't remember the name of it though. I went on tour. Yeah, get ready. Get, man, yeah. you got to get it. Boy, you better be ready for <laughs> Boy, that thing be funking, boy. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. So, having, all right, so you said Boss Man D-Lo? Yeah, Boss Man D-Lo. You got Lil Tyler. You got Lil like, Tyler. You, you got to send me these Wiz now. Having. You got a yeah. couple more people, though. Boston yeah. Richie. Boston a, Richie. Yeah, you got a couple Okay, I more heard people. of that name. Who was the dude that rocked that fan you and got in trouble? Got, uh, Boston Richie. That Boston Richie? Yeah, yeah, okay, Boston okay, Richie. okay, okay. Who would you say... Uh, have you interviewed? You've interviewed all of those. Yeah, besides guys? Rod. Besides Rod, yeah. we gotta set that up. Yeah, we gotta set that up. We gotta set that up, dog. Uh, Rod, people, my people. Yeah. I was out there in LA with it. Like I said, I met Rod. Bro, I was training the lead, dog. Running around Lake Vista. I don't know if you know Lake Vista. Yeah, I know Lake Vista. Fifty four. That's where he was from. He went to Lakewood. I went to Lakewood. Um, I'm running around, dog. I didn't did like my thing was two miles in twelve minutes, six minute miles. You know what I'm saying? Back to back. That's when I know I'm in shape. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I done got my miles in. And I'm tired, boy. And uh and, and my my little god brother with me. He like, man, that's raw wave over there. I'm like, who that? You know what I'm saying? I'm in the 550. I'm like, man, shoot, who that? 
He like, uh, that's Ron Wade. He the next up and coming artist. So I was like, all right, bet. They over there smoking weed. It's, I'm looking at my watch. He's like, man, bro, like, it's 12 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? They supposed to be in school. So I go over there. I'm like, what up, youngest man? What y'all boy good? They're like, what up, what up, what up, what up? I'm like, shit, uh, why y'all boys ain't in school? And Rod was like, man, I'm a rapper, man. I ain't, school ain't for me. And I was like, shit, okay, 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 okay. I was like, well, if school ain't for you, then and rapping your thing, then why you ain't in the studio? And he was like, man, I just did some shit. I just dropped some shit. Woo, woo, woo. Man, I was like, I right, bet. I was like, man, keep that shit up. He was like, man, you'll follow me on Instagram? I was like, hell yeah, I'll follow you on Instagram, man. What's your Instagram? He was like, uh, it's Raw Way. So I put it in, boom, he had like 2,000 followers. And I ain't gonna lie, that shit blew me away. Cause you know, I ain't really like social media savvy, but I'm like, damn, bro, you ain't. I'm like, what grade you in? Like, I'm in 10th grade. I said, damn, bro, you in 10th grade? 2,000 followers. In my mind, I'm like, shit, that's a lot. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Being in high school, you know what I'm saying? I got like 20,000 followers, but you got 2,000 in high school. I'm like, bro, that's good. I'm like, bro, keep doing your thing. That was like, I'm not saying I helped him do anything. You feel mm -hmm. me? I'm just saying that that was my first interaction with him. And then come to find out, like, his manager and everybody, that's all my people, dog. Yeah. Big Bo, all them, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And, and Frankie I'm Joe. Tell you, and I'm going to tell you a story about, about me and him. We go way back, too, though. Yeah. So just like I was telling you about the rap thing, bro, like, me and him, we opened up a show. You know, you ever heard of 24K? The 20, club, 24K, yeah, a couple yeah, of years yeah. ago. I don't know if you ever went in there. No, nah, I probably you know never go, but yeah, I yeah. think I, I done heard of it, though. So it was a it club. Was, it was in, in Clearwater. Yep, 24K. So we we had we had showcases going on and shit like that. This was one of his first, you know what I'm saying, his first shows or whatever. This really, I want him to come out and just say it one day too that yeah. what what was his paid what was his first paid show? Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? 24K, my dogs had them booked them. They do a uh -huh. show at 24K. Uh -huh. He didn't already basically said, like, you know what I'm saying? He was stage fright, all this shit. So yeah. shit, this is yeah. my first he time. Yeah, he got he got social too. anxiety. So shit, I'm telling his ass straight up, like nigga, this is my first time performing. Nigga, get up there and perform, nigga. Shit, your yeah. song way hotter than my shit. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Which which one was it? It was, was Heartbreak he? Hotel. Gotcha. He only had one song out of it. What gambling? Yeah, gambling. Heartbreak Hotel, but gotcha. Heartbreak. This was before Get a Bag. Yeah, yeah. This way before way before that. that. Okay, before gotcha. That. Gotcha. So this when he was still in high school. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was he. When nobody booking him yet, when no none of that shit going on, he just yeah. had his little fan base, which was the Jits. With yeah. us. you get yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. So, shit, he get out that bitch, and we opening up for the girl Tokyo Jets. Uh huh. We opening up for YNW Melly. We mm. opening up for this cat named Fulio. All I know, them, I know exactly what you're talking about. Blowing at the time. Yeah, All yeah, them, Fulio was blowing. They going uphill. Yep. You feel me, Rod? Mm -hmm. Rod, me and Rod, the only the 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 least yeah. one on the ticket. Yeah. Don't nobody know us or nothing. Yeah. yeah. We just some people from Pinellas County. Yeah. These people coming in our county to open up that bit. Yeah, yeah. And bro, I'm talking about he blew the whole stage away. No. When he got on there, a bit was like, nah, bro, got to sing that bitch again. For real? Yeah, yeah. He had to perform that bitch twice. Damn. Damn. That's a dope story. Yeah, he had to perform that bitch twice. That's a twice. dope story. We got to get that linked up, though, dog. Rod, young, we got to get that linked up, dog. You got to come on down to We Are Florida, dog. These some good people down here, dog. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I know you big time, but shoot, you know what I'm saying? You know, this shit about to be big time, too. Facts, man. Facts, <laughs> man. We definitely rocking with you at We Are Florida now, Podcast. Facts. Another question, dog. What's up? I stay curious. Your top five rappers right now. My top five rappers, I, I mean, of all time, are right now. Ooh, right now, right now. Then give me your all time. Right now, <laughs> cause I, I just want to see how how old are you? I'm thirty six. I'm um I'm, I'm I ain't thirty six. Okay, so that what I said. You feel me? Cause you know what I said. I mean, I, I got. I'm, a, I, I'm going Jay Z one. You know what I'm saying. Shit. See, I know. See, that's why I say, see, I already know I'm going to get some backlash because the kids going to be like, you All know right, what I'm saying? Like, right what you now, doing? Down. Right now, it's no cap. No Watch cap. Be fat. You got, uh. These all Florida, though. Nah, nah. Oh, no, you going, you going. Okay, so yeah, we'll start again now because you got to send me these. I got to check them out. No cap. Okay, no cap. Uh, YTB fat. YTB fat. Young boy. Young, NBA young boy? Yeah, NBA young okay, boy. Okay, okay. Kodak. Cool and that. Boss Man D-Lo. That's all on my playlist right now. That's, that's all on your playlist. That's on my playlist. Gotcha. But it is some other people that I do listen to, you feel me? Like, I know you uh, listen to Rod. Yeah, I listen to Rod for sure. Yeah. He yeah, definitely yeah. on it. I mean, that's that's a given. 
But my mm. top five of all time, though, bro, it, all time. It, it'd have to be Boosie. Boosie. Yeah, Boosie. Number one? I mean, I, no order. No order. Oh, no. Go, no, no, no. no we order? See, see, that's what I said. That's why I said I do the bait podcast. We got to go order. All right, so look. It's order in the house. That's what I'm saying. So but, order in the house. Boom. Is that, my is all that, time, <laughs> Wayne. Wayne, one. okay. Wayne one, okay, yes, okay. Wayne and everything that's under that Wayne umbrella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From so two. dedication, draw, yeah. everything. So two, Boosie. Boosie, okay. Three, Future. Future, ooh. Yeah, three, Future. Uh-huh. Now, my fourth one would have to be... <laughs> you hmm. said, hold on, let's go. You said one is Wayne. Wayne, Boosie, Future. Boosie, Future, okay. My fourth one would have to be Gucci. Fourth, Gucci? Ooh, okay. And okay. then my, my my fifth, even though he's still going, he's going to always have his spot, regardless. He's going to always be on that two part. Part five? Part five. Boy, I'm getting old, boy. God, dog, I'm getting old, man. Y'all hear this dinner, you know, Eduardo? <laughs> <laughs> hey, God, dog. Man, you said, so hold on. So you put, so above Rick Ross? I mean, Rick Ross ain't never really like what. Bro. Hold on, now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before you speak on the boss, Ross. Now, you know I'm a debate podcast. We can do, we can do Before polls. you be, hold on, hold on, hold on. Choose those words I put a carefully, poll up, nigga. And I'm telling you what the poll gonna say. Who? Oh, that's what it just gonna say. They gonna say they not gonna put him they on for a Ross. Nah, I'm a, but I'm gonna ask you Damn. this. After you, after Drake fought with Ross. Like Drake got lemon pepper yeah, weed. But we like with Drake. We don't fuck with like. What? It, it, ain't what? That it ain't that people don't fuck with Ross. Ross got it. He oh, go. I gotta it. sit up for this that. one, dog. Hold he on, hold he on. All that. But listen, not nah, okay. Nah, it's go. It, it go I, to I the need same to know, debate, nah. right? It go to the same debate. Well, okay. Who you think the best hip hop artist ever to come out of Florida? Like right now, statistic wise, can you say off the top of your head? Statistic wise, I gotta go Ross. T Pain. Who didn't did, did bigger than T-Pain? Uh, and y'all, he don't nah, get love. So I'm, ta you... I'm talking about multiple, though. Multiple, though. No, I'm talking about platinum albums, diamond albums. You talking about... T-Pain, all we do is win, we, win, we, win, no matter we, what. We, we, what? Rick Ross, though, man. Speeding, push it to the limit. That's uh, back then. We talking about T-Pain hey, still dropping right now. So it he with DJ Khaled. Ross, Ross, too, though. Nah, hey, nah, hey, man. Hey, shout out T-Pain, Tallahassee, Tallahassee. I fuck with T Pain, dog, but we ain't, we talking. He a singer. You said he a Man, singer I'm talk, though. I'm talking about music wise, period though. Mm. Because then they they don't like if you go up north, they they don't call Kodak a rapper. What? For real? Yeah. Nah, for real. They be they 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 try to say like we sing down here. Florida big, Florida yeah, big, big. Uh, Pitbull, Pitbull, you know yeah, both saying? of them. They big, but I ain't putting them over Ross though. Ross, huh? Yeah, I can't put him on Ross. One, I gotta go one. I was see like I don't even know the rappers right now, dog. That's 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 that. I need to get. That's why I need you to send me them. Okay, I will. I, I need will. you to send me a, like your playlist. I need for you. Sure. To, I need you to shoot. But me do that. you mess with like the little babies, the money bag? I the... listen. To, I, I like little baby. I like uh. I like future. I like uh uh Drake. The Gotties, the Jeezys. You got to think about when I put Drake on when I. Listen, dog. This is how old I am, dog. When I put Drake on, uh, the OGs in the locker room, dog. Them niggas looked at me, bro. When I put Drake on, them niggas looked at me like, "What the fuck?" But They're that's like, that old Drake, though. You like yeah, when you first got there, though. When he, yeah, when I first got there, dog. Yeah, this two thousand nine. That's the singing Drake, though. But no, Drake had that song with like Wayne. It was like a, it was like his first like. Yeah, like I'm going in like around that time. Yeah, like okay. he, you know what I'm saying? I put that on, bro, and that nigga, bro, them niggas, bro. I'm talking about they talking. I'm talking about, bro. They killed me, dog. What the fuck is this, nigga? Put that, put that Gucci on, put that Boosie on, like nephew, like turn that shit, throw that shit away. You know what I'm saying? So I had to kind of fall off of Drake. You know what I'm saying? Till he really powered up. But I had liked Drake. You know what I'm saying? Because he had came to Florida at the little. You know what I'm saying? I, I, like at a little house party type of, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And he was like, everybody knew who he was. And that's when I got put on from a dog that was from Cali, dog. Shout out Simo. But, dog, so you telling me part five on your list? Part five. Part five? I mean, have part, you ever really listened part, to part though? Hell yeah, man. I didn't yeah. listen to majority of part music, at least like. 80% of pop music, bro. I didn't yeah. listen to most of it. Against All Odds? All of it. Damn. All Eyes on Me, all that. Uh, Kaluminati? Kaluminati. Damn, well, 
Damn, I'm getting old, dog. But this is what I'm saying. So if you talk to a J who younger than me, Park, you might not even get Park on the list. This We talking about... I'm surprised I'm Future on the list. Baby. Future on my list. I fuck with Future. I'm surprised. Future, bro, I'm surprised. do you not know what Future... Bro, future you, got hits, now. Now watch this. If I bring if I bring a young cat in here, right, and you listen to me and him talk about Future versus Kodak, they going to tell you Future. Yeah. And I tell you no cap. And I and 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 that Kodak, that's, Kodak, that's, Kodak but that's through his everybody field from where he Florida was, though. That's people from Florida gonna say that. I, I like Future though. I like Future. I like Future. Uh, I don't know. I might like. I might take Kodak over Future. Yeah, but like, when, when he was lyrical though, like you know, what I'm saying now nah, he kind of just it's yeah. like it's like he be drugged up, so it's kind of like tough to listen to him. And like even when I watched the interview, which which he was like he like yeah he can't he really understand all, yeah. what he's saying. You know Back. what I'm saying? So, but when he was really like. You know, no when flocking he was in his and, and shit, it was for real. bad for real. I would say that, but you telling me Jay Z ain't in your top five? No, Jay Z not in your top five. Nah, I, only reason I'm I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, Jay Z can never know. be in my top five. Never, bro. never. I gotta put you on. I gotta put I you know on. No Jay Z music. No, 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 no. It, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about mainstream Beyonce, Jay Z. I'm talking about. Oh, hove, dog. Blueprint like 50, one, blueprint like two. Cent. When I like the 50 cent, I like the DMX. I like the Nas DMX. from that generation. This is what I'm saying. If you talking about yeah. New York, I like the Jada Kiss. I like the, I like Kiss. Kiss yeah, up there. So Kiss up there. You feel me? Like Kiss up there. Kiss up there. But you really got to catch on to what Jay Z be saying though. Like Jay Z. See, that's a, the the thing about me, and you probably could. It might be changing now, but yeah. there was an era where lyrics meant something. Lyrics meant something. But like I come from an era of drug selling, yeah. you feel me? Rick Ross, Ti, cause Ti in my top five. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, no Limit, Ice Cream Man. You feel me? Y'all era is drug users. You feel what I'm saying? Percocets, Molly's, all that. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about, you know, Young Jeezy. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like we talking about Seventeen the Key. You feel what I'm talking about? We talking about getting 100 pounds. You feel what I'm saying? And, so, and, and that's why I said Gucci because, like, around that time, it's, it's, it's either you G's or you Gucci. Yeah. I'll take the liking to all the bad guys. You feel me? Gucci yeah. was one of the bad guys. You feel me? Boosie was one of the bad guys. You yeah, feel me? I like Boosie. T.I. T. I was straight. T.I. Nah, don't hey. get me wrong. T.I. is what he called himself. He the king. He did he all the that. king of the But style. the thing is, my, my liking to the music, Gotcha. Yeah, but what you did accolade wise, I still put you up to like Ti. Like if you ask yep. me who gonna be the most impactful one, like from up that way, I'm a, I'm gonna call out him first because he made them boys do what they do. You yeah, 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 yeah. Ti was on that trap music. Yeah, he was on right trap. Fold, right you know what I'm saying? Them. Right for them, and then Jeezy came with it, mm -hmm. and then Gucci came with and it. Took off, and everybody took else off. after them. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just I had them. Them were the only questions I had, dog. I just wanted to make sure I wanted to see where I'm at. But you gotta put me on these young niggas, dog. You I got, got you. To. I got you. I'm gonna definitely make you. I'm you gonna definitely to. get you tapped in with them. Cause, bro, it's yeah. some it's some people out here snapping right now, bro. And there's some ones that's doing their thing. Like, is they lyrical? Or is it more just like? Cause you know, like I ain't gonna lie, young boy, just, it feel like he don't talk about nothing but murder and killing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the same thing with the NLE Chopper boy, yeah. like. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like a lot of these dudes, like even like, like that's why I love Raw Wade because he's he's not he's different. He's, he's just not, he's not going he in not, that lane. He, he tried, not, yeah. He not with these niggas over here. He you know what I'm saying? You feel me? He, but he, he bought cool it too, though. You know yeah, he'll yeah. throw a line in two in there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He'll see, throw a line in there. See, the thing is with Raw, he he not like he not. I can't say he's not supposed to be in his generation, but this nigga, you know, bro, he he thinking like an old head, bro. Yeah. This nigga is With smart. all the old heads around him, too. Right, and he got none, but he got smart people around him. A lot yep. of these niggas just got jits they age around him. You feel me? Gotcha. A younger. Uh, a, a, a nigga who was older, but still ain't got it all, yeah. grasp it all yet. So did you like like the triple extension type dude? Nah, nah, I wasn't okay. ever into that all music. Right. You I like, wasn't, but that, bro, yeah. let me tell you how big that is, though. Yeah. Down here in Florida. Yeah. Like, bro, that shit just as big as Kodak. For real? And and you'll be, like, bro, if I brung, if I brung some people in here right now, bro. Yeah. Like, you'll see how his fans at, bro. Yeah. Some of them doing the same shit that Rod can make these motherfucking fans do. Fall out and cry. For like, real? 
him at, like SS. Like, cause bro. I don't like like Yachty. Like yeah, Yachty. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't mess with them like those type of rappers either. But yeah. bro, they got fan bases yeah, that, fan that base. people fuck with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. what keep them kind of. Cause cool. even like Travis, the dude Travis, yeah, Travis Scott, Scott, and then uh, what's the other one that was with? But Drake? have you ever seen the Travis Scott like? The vi- the footy vi- uh like his, his concert? concert I heard it's crazy, bro. The man concerts go crazy. I heard it's crazy. I went. I just went to like, the Drake concert and J Cole shut that bitch down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, if you if you if you bring Travis Scott out and and I mean if Drake bring Travis Scott out, bro. Yeah. It's gonna be a whole different noise, like. Crazy. Yeah, like. Yeah. She gonna go crazy. Damn, well, I'm excited, dog. I'm excited. I want to be put on, dog, because I like. I guess what kept me young was in the locker room. You always got the young boys coming mm-hmm. in playing some new funk. You know what I'm saying? And then what that is, young. You know what I'm saying? Put you on. But yeah, I right, shit, man. I'm moving in totally different circles now. For sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, yeah, we definitely met, we definitely fucking with you. We are Florida podcast, man. We definitely appreciate, appreciate you having me, in, man. You know what I'm saying? Getting your story. And we, you know what I'm saying, we had fun on here, for real, for real. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying, I tell you, everybody, all my guests, keep striving, keep going up, keep doing your thing, keep maintaining, you know what I'm saying, all we can do is grow from here. Yes, sir. We are Florida Podcast, you know what I'm saying, we are Florida Sports, tapping out with Lewis Murphy, man, let's go. Yes, sir.